and we welcome Dr. Kenneth Farley Pittman and Dr. Colin Jackson to share their memories of the departed. Uh, Dr. Oates was a great inspiration to me as a teacher and uh, to my colleague, Dr. Colin Jackson. No relation. Yeah, not now, Colin. He's not. <laughs> he will be sorely missed. He was very much part of the furniture at Forrester's Sixth Form College, like a, a chair, really fat chair. <laughs> he will also be sorely missed by the taste of the Taj Indian restaurant, where his love affair with Guy really began. And they have been uh, kind enough to provide a buffet for us after the service here. They have just asked me to say a few words. Um, yeah. The taste of the Taj Indian restaurant is fully licensed and is open 12 till late, seven days a week, serving a full range of classic Indian cuisines in a relaxed environment. Why not ask about the chef's Persian dishes? Or, if it's a special occasion, why not order our famous kulchi lamb marinated in a secret combination of 20 spices served with pilau rice, naan, and chutneys? <clears throat> uh, Dr. Colin Jackson will now read Dr. Oates's favourite poem. Oh, God. Give me I haven't got it. Do it from memory. Right, yes. <clears throat> if, by Rudyard Kipling... <clears throat> If you can do some things and do them well, and do them really quite well, then, then, then great. <laughs> if you are good at other things, then jolly good. So, yes. Um, if the other things that are there, ashes to ashes, funk to funky, Dr. Oates, <laughs> who is not a monkey. Oh, God, come on. As we commit Dr. Oates's body to the flames, let us all sing his favourite song, The Lady in Red. <laughs> Never seen you looking so lovely as you did tonight. Never seen you shine so bright. Never seen so Well, I thought that went rather well. Yes. All right, Eggheads. Oh, uh, Woods. Sad day, eh? Yes. Will you be coming along to the buffet? Yeah, well, some of us have got to get back to college and teach, Colin. Some of us have those things called studente. Well, yes. Well, actually, we do as well, so... I suppose now it's just you two losers left, then, well, that's pretty much game over for the science department. Uh, not at all, actually. We've got a new teacher joining us, and, well, naturally, Kenneth will become head, and I will become his... Gimp? What? No. <laughs> no wh what's a gimp, Kenneth? Uh, not, not now, Colin. <laughs> They have actually found someone else stupid enough to teach angles and test tubes. But actually, science is a very important subject, actually, Woods. Yeah, yeah a lot more important than theatre studies, isn't it? Oh, yeah, right. So, uh, being able to express oneself, be creative, emotionally accessible, these things, what, aren't important? <laughs> it's just a lot of men in tights running around the place. It's all rubbish. Well, yeah, if you'll excuse me, I have to go and teach a little more rubbish to my many keen students in my state-of-the-art black box studio de teatro. <laughs> Yeah? Well, uh, I tell you what, why don't you go and teach some rubbish in your rubbish bin? Uh, no, he, he's, he's gone, Colin. Do you know what? I'm going to start writing some comebacks down in a book, Kenneth. Then we'll see who wins the battle of wits. Oh, he's such a ruddy burk. Yeah. Oh, can you smell uh, cardamom? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, old Oates is taking a long time to burn, isn't he? <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. Oh, it is sad day indeed. Ah, oh, hello, Anish. Yes, very, very sad day. Oh, poor the Dr. Oates. I cannot help but feel the slightly responsible for his heart condition. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But now please enjoy the Dr. Oates Butter Chicken Memorial Curry Buffet. <laughs> how about a nice, refreshing Indian lager? Oh, Anish. Oh, no, how many times have we had this conversation? <laughs> We won't drink lager, Anish. Why not? Well, well, for a start, we haven't got an ASBO. That's very good, Colin. You should write that one in your book. Uh, yes. <laughs> very well. I shall leave you to it. Please enjoy. Oh, thank you, Anish. Mm. Hey, just think, Kenneth. Now you're the new head of department, you can sit in Oates' chair. Yeah, that lovely chair. And I will be deputy head, and uh, the new person will be... Well, a woman. 
Yes. You know, I've never been that good around women, Kenneth. Yeah. I mean, you know, in a social capacity, I, I find it very difficult to talk with them. Well, in my experience, they don't so much as talk with you as at you, and then they bleed you dry. Oh. Yes, I'm sorry, Kenneth. I didn't mean to bring up Wendy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Kenneth, I, I realise it must be very hard for you, well, you know, what with yes, her yes. leaving like that so suddenly very and sudden, uh, yes, so yes, forth. So, yes. you know, I mean, if you ever want to talk about it, well, talk yes, over, you know, over you know, a pint or two, maybe yeah, we could oh, do that. A couple of pints of the old, the old ale. Yes, you know, we could drink yeah. Otter's Crest. Oh, a lovely brew. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah. Yeah. Hot there, we'll chat yeah. over a pint and... Uh, yeah, yeah. I discovered they use burnt cork in the flavouring well, yes. process of that. Yes, very nice indeed. Very, very fresh taste. Yes, it's a little like Old Monk's Bell. Well, the birds and water is, of course, key to that particular Yes, yeah, always yeah. the birds and water. It's a peaty punch. Yes, very it's peaty. peaty. Yeah, yes, well, it's, nice. well, good. Yes, yeah, good. Been good. Good yes, to have well, a yes. chat there. Yes, well, well there yes. it is. Well. So, yeah. so, so thank, yes. thank you. No, thank you. Well, thank you. No, well, no, thank, thank you. you. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry, excuse me. You are excused. Uh, I'm looking for the science department. Really? And why would such a pretty lady be looking for such a dull place? <laughs> well, uh, point one, science is never dull. And uh, point two, I'm the new head of science, so I do need to find the building. The new head? Yeah, yeah. Really looking forward to revitalising the whole department. What do you teach? I am but an honest foot soldier of the goddess Thespis. <laughs> you teach drama? Yeah, head thereof. <laughs> Danny Woods. Enchanté. Alison Hatton, pleased to meet you. Let me show you to your Cornish, Miss Moneypenny. Oh, you Scottish? No. <laughs> no. No. No, no, I'm not, no. Because I didn't know enough, I just knew too much. Does that make me crazy? Does that make me crazy? Does that make me crazy? Oh, hello. <clears throat> oh, hello. You're a woman. I mean, there's a woman in here. Kenneth? Uh, hello to you. Hello there. Yes, I'm Alison Hatton. Crumbs. Yes, the new woman. Teacher. Uh, there you are. I'm uh, Colin Jackson. No relation. <laughs> I always say that I wish I could run as fast as the 110 metre Olympic silver medalist, <sighs> but I can't. Right. And he's a black man. Yes. Uh -huh. So, Mrs. Hatton, how are you? It's Ms. Hatton, but you can call me Alison. Is it? Is it really Ms.? Well, I'm Mr. Jackson. I mean, you can call me Bachelor Jackson. <laughs> you want me to call you Bachelor Jackson? Yes. No. Yes. No. I haven't got a girlfriend, if that's what you're thinking. Oh, God. I'm just going to go in there. Um, Colin? Are you OK? Ah, hello. Oh, hello. You must be Dr. Farley Pittman. Yes. Is Colin in here? He's in the cupboard. You didn't mention horses, did you? No. What's wrong with horses? It's the way they look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Come out of the cupboard, Colin. Hello again, Colin. Yes, please, thank you. <laughs> right, well, welcome to the science department, etc. and so forth. Kettle's over there. Now, I'm going to have to politely ask you to get out of my chair. Sorry, I think you'll find it's my chair. Don't think it is, love. <laughs> well, as head of department, technically it is my chair. Well, I, I think you'll find I'm the new head of department. No, I think you'll find I'm the new head of department. Oh, no, I'm next in line to the throne. The king is dead. Long live the king. Yeah, not now, Colin. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, I'm going to clear this up right now. I'm going to call the principal. Ah, Peter, hello. And, uh, what, Alan? Really? What? What's happened to Peter? Had, oh, three years ago. Right, well, no one... <laughs> no, one, no, one no one told me... That, well, yes, I, I'm Dr. Kenneth Farley Pittman. Fa Farley Pittman. Yes, the one with the profiteroles in my trousers at the Christmas party. Yes, I'm... <laughs> yes, yes, she's stood here now, looking at me. I mean, some idiots told her that she's the new... Oh, she is. Right. Thank you. Ah, uh, well, it, it appears that due to some lunatic turn of events, you are indeed the new head of pump. The king is dead. Long live the queen. Shut up, Colin. Right. <laughs> right. OK. Well, look, we seem to have got off to a rather strange start here. I'm surprised you didn't get all the emails. Ah, uh, well, we don't like to use the computer so much anymore, not since that uh, 
muscular gentleman popped onto the screen with his John Thomas. Yeah, well, uh, as, I, <laughs> as I explained, it was a virus thing, there, a button that yeah. you, you pressed, so it was entirely your doing that that picture arrived on the screen. So, no more of that. No, no, no. no, no. Come in. Oh, hi. Hello, Danny. Nice to see you again. Un cadeau pour toi. Oh, flowers, how lovely. And, uh, got a question for you, Canarola. Kenneth. Sure. I was wondering if you might be able to supply us moi with a batch of dry ice. Why? Well, I'm doing a sort of sonne lumiere for the open day next week to attract new blood to the drama department. Not that I need to. I mean, we're PDP, pretty damn popular as it is. Well, this is the perfect opportunity for our departments to work together. Kenneth would be delighted to help you out, wouldn't you? Ah. I'll take that as a yes. Cheers, Kendo. Hasta la vista, Alison. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, and uh, Colin, yeah. if, you, if you were to run at the 110 metres hurdles today, um, how long would it take you? Well, gosh, that is a question. I, oh, yes, very clever, Woods. But I am no relation to that Colin Jackson. Right, just, just wait, I'll get my book out. Right, get, right, wait, right, here we go. Where did you get your hair cut, Woods? In the woods? <laughs> he, he's gone, Colin, so... Oh. Well, that's a good start. Now, I've got quite a lot to sort out in here, a bit of a clear out, and there's a stack of unopened posts. So, what I suggest is that we convene tomorrow morning for a proper staff meeting, say eight o'clock. Oh, God, that's early. We're not in the army, woman. Well, when's good for you? Five. But no, 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 it's fine. Actually, we'll be here bright and busy. Excellent. I'll bring some orange juice. Oh, lovely. I'll bring some croissants. I'll bring some jam. I'll bring a cafetier. I'll bring a smile. I'll bring some Johnnies. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I won't. Who said that? Goodbye. Colin, get out of the cupboard. <laughs> Yeah, I, I christen this beer Orbital. Oh. Mm. Ah. oh, that is a powerful drop, Kenneth. Shit! Oh. <laughs> well, I've triple fermented it, you see. Th well, it's more of a porter than a strong bitter. Yeah, it's almost a sherry if the ABV's anything to go by. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, you can actually feel it in your eyes. <laughs> Oh, God. Uh, I, I can't believe they've appointed her ahead of me. Oh, calm down, Kenny. Well, it's only a matter of time until she discovers this place. Well, she's not going to come into a disabled toilet, Kenny. Oh, you can smell the hops halfway down the corridor, well, Colin. So what if she does come in? Well, she'll stop us brewing. Well, oh, she can't. You know, it's chemistry. Well, I know that and you know that, Colin, but do you know any women who like real ale? Well, I... Well, what about that woman at the Gwent Real Ale and Cider Marquee? She was, uh... She was a paramedic, Colin. Oh, <laughs> Yes, I had a mini cheddar caught in my pharynx. Yeah. We've got to stop her, Colin. He's not right. No, calm down, Kenneth. I might just speak my mind to well, her. Now, I don't want you to upset her, Kenneth. Well, why not? Well, look, she, she was... I just thought that... Well, she was rather nice and friendly, and, you know, she had all the bits and bobs there, and I... Well, uh, you know, I thought that... Well, I might, well, I'm going to ask her out for a drink. What? Well, why not? You can't. I mean, who would... would uh, what, what will I do? And you can't have a relationship with a woman, with a member of staff. It's illegal. <laughs> Where are you going? Uh, the thing is, Kenneth, I'm trying to talk about this, and you're being a bit horrible, and I want to talk about this, and you don't want to talk about this, so I'm going to talk about this to someone else. Well, you can't go. It's time for film club. Well, I'm, it's too bad, Kenneth. I'm not coming to film club this week. <laughs> you, you can't miss film club. I'm sorry, Kenneth. You've never missed film club. <laughs> Well, what are we watching this week? Women in Love. <laughs> Not again, Kenneth. It's a good film. No, I'm going. And now that I finally think I've found someone I can speak to, then... Well, look, it's all very difficult, and... Well, look, I suppose my question is, what should I do? You know, Colin, <laughs> women like you to talk about what's happening inside. Well, what's happening inside what? Inside of you. The pain that you feel inside. They love all that, the women's. Really? Gosh. And then you should bring her here for a meal. The taste of the Taj lover's banquet. Oh, that is brilliant, Anish. A cubby. What woman could possibly resist? Thank you so much. No problem. Oh, Alison. 
Alison. <laughs> Good morning there. Oh, hello, Colin. Oh. Good. Where's Kenneth? Well, I'm sure he's on his way. Let's get cracking then, shall we? Oh. Crumbs, look at this. You've tidied Oates' office. I was here till late sorting things out. Quite a difference, don't you think? Oh, it, oh my gosh. There's a window. Yes, that was a discovery. <laughs> and there's some flowers on the side there, and I've put a picture up. And there's... There's Kenneth under the desk. Look, Crikey, Kenneth. Oh, Sam, stay in the sauna. Hey, Cara, Colin, what, what, are you, what are you doing in my bedroom? Kenneth, what are you doing under my desk? I've, um, I got here early for the departmental meeting and I, I thought I'd go under your desk and I must have dropped off. Perhaps we can get this meeting started. Right. I had a long look at the department finances. Oh, balls. And then an even longer chat with the principal. Oh, Peter's just a scaremonger. He's all mouth and no trousers. Peter left three years ago. It's Alan now. Yes, I knew that. And speaking of trousers, Kenneth, will you please put some on? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, force of habit. Uh, Colin, would you, uh, would you help me? Oh, yes, 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 of course. Uh, there we go. There we go, Kenneth. Right. Uh, oh, there there we go. Thank you. Mind those, Colin. Right. right. <laughs> Quite finished. <laughs> Docking complete. <laughs> the long and the short of it is that this department cannot justify its existence. If we don't significantly increase the numbers of pupils taking science AS levels, our jobs are on the line. Oh, crumbs. More like a whole loaf, Colin. Uh, oh, yes. Oh, very good. Yes, uh, because there would be a lot of crumbs in a loaf. Yes, very funny. I, I might actually write that one in my book, Alison. So, uh, so, Colin, yeah. please pay attention. Colin, stop writing! Right, yes, yes. Right, it's the college open day next week. Now, what do you normally do? A presentation or...? Ah, well, Alison, normally we're not here. Sorry, I don't understand. Well, it always coincides with the uh, Real Ale Festival in St Ives. Oh, booze, booze on the ooze. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, you can say that again, Alison. It's brilliant. Kenneth's got a tankard with a bell on it so he can ring for more. We've all got nicknames. We call Kenneth the Beer Admiral. Yes, and, uh, and, and Colin is ale baked. Full steam ahead, casketeers. Toot, toot. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've made our own ale in the disabled... No, at home. We yes, made it, well, yes. not on college yeah, We made it all at, all at home. Right. Shut not, uh, up. Look, you can't just go swanning off to booze on the ives. Booze on the ooze, woman. I'm sorry, Kenneth, but things are going to have to change around here. I want you to start by making that dry ice for Danny Woods and having a proper think about what you might do for the open day. Well, you, you can't. It's not fair. We've run best homebrew for the last six years and we've got 20 gallons of orbital in the... Oh, oh what's the point? Come on, Colin. Actually, Kenneth, I need to stay here and have a rather important chat with Alison. Met too brute. I'm just trying to help, to help all of us. Yes, I, I'm sorry about that, Alison. Um, Kenneth's been well. He's been a bit tricky since his wife left. Oh, gosh. Oh, I didn't mean to. He's married. Yes. <laughs> she ran off with the gardener, a South African. Yeah, but one of the nice ones. <laughs> What did you want to talk to me about? <clears throat> Alison, I have a sprained wrist and a slightly itchy bottom. I'm beginning to regret taking this job. I, I, I'm trying to tell you about the pain inside. Annie said it would impress you. I don't know. If you want to impress me, then you could come up with something good to attract the teenagers for the open day. Well, I don't know. I suppose... Hey, well, we could do a song or something, I suppose. A song? Yes, I like that. Well, we could do it about science, you know, get the kids bopping. They like that, don't they? Actually, Colin, that's brilliant. Really? Well, great. Uh, and then afterwards, perhaps, we could go out for something to eat. Perfect. Yeah. A staff do, a well, chance to meet the rest of the teachers. Well, well yes, yes, or, or, or one of them in particular. Ah, uh, uh, well, right. right, time for me to meet the second-year physics group. Ah, uh, yes, I... I don't actually think he's in today. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Forrester Sixth Form College Open Day. Now, as you know, some of the departments like to put on a presentation for prospective AS students. I always look forward to Danny Woods' piece. Once more onto the breach, dear friends, once more! <laughs> Brilliant. You should uh, see him in the staff room doing his Tony Blair. Hysterical. Anyway, <laughs> before that, we have a... Uh, 
what a, a presentation from the science department. What are they doing, Mike? Uh, so, yes, please welcome the Raping McJackson. <laughs> <coughs> Right, hello, yes. Sorry, that should be the rapping MC Jackson. <laughs> oh, God. And um, please also welcome to the stage Alison Hatton, my bitch. <laughs> Well, listen up, homies, gather round. Gonna tell you about the scene that's going down. Science ain't boring, that's a myth. Let's say yo to the science massive. Break it down, Alison, my bitch. Archimedes and Alfred Nobel, Louis Pasteur, Isaac Newton as well. Ernest Rutherford, Murray Curie. They, they don't, don't sound, sound very boring, boring to, to me. me. <laughs> boss, boss. Oh, yeah. While we do our dance robotic, let's, let's tell, tell you about, about the table, table periodic. periodic. I think that zinc is mighty fine. But I'm also a fan of iodine. When I say heavy metal, I don't mean motorhead. He refers to metals such as osmium or lead. 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 Hmm, <laughs> that's heavy. <laughs> Inert or noble, science, science is, is a gas. gas. If you say no, I'll put a cap in your bum. <laughs> Well, uh, thank you to Colin Jackson and his bi uh, Alison Hatton. Very uh, illuminating. Now, please welcome from the hugely successful drama department, Danny Woods. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Now, yon prospective studente, gather ye round. Oh, God, here we go. <laughs> does do that rather a lot. Willkommen. Ich bin Theater. Kenneth, why have you put safety goggles on? Fashion. <laughs> From the primordial swamps of ancient Greece rose proud Zeus wreathed in smoke. Ooh. He smote his staff of theater upon the ground and rent asunder the rocks through the power of... The drama. <coughs> and as the molten lava or performance <coughs> gushed forth. Oh God, what is that smell? Oh, I think it's coming from a dry eyes. <coughs> God, really. Smell. My eyes! <coughs> Kenneth, what's in the dry ice? Well, I only hope I didn't put some ammonia in it. Kenneth! <laughs> or indeed, some sulphur. Oh. Okay, okay, uh, everyone, everyone, if you'd just like to follow me to the, uh, the, the fire escape, the science department, just down here. Plenty of eye baths uh, and refreshments there. This way, this way, thank you. Come on. Do you need a hand? No, no, you, you're going to clean up and change out of your tracksuit and bling. This way, <laughs> follow me. Oh, Colin, it's been a disaster. Oh, I don't know, Alison. I mean, our rap went very well, I think. <sighs> And besides, I mean, we've got our dinner to look forward to now, so... Yes, uh, I'd forgotten about that. Yes, well, yeah. mm. I could do with some cheering up, I suppose. Yes, yes. Um, sorry about the whole bitch thing there, you know. It's, uh, it's rapper's idiom. It's yeah. all right, Colin. Yeah, it's all right, though. I, I won't wet you with my Glock, you know, like... Uh, <laughs> like, like 50%. Uh. I'm fine, Colin. Don't worry about yeah. it. It was either bitch or hoe. Yeah, it's okay, and... Colin, I understand. Now, that's not like a garden hoe. It actually means whore. Yes, I know, Colin. <laughs> ah, my friend Colin, and you are wearing your special helicopter tie. Ah, yes. <laughs> yeah, it's Airwolf. <laughs> and this must be the special lady. Um, Colin, where is everyone else? This is a table for two. Yes, well, I, you know, I thought that it would be rather nice for us to... Oh. Evening. Kenneth, what are you doing here? Where else would I be? Why don't you join us? No, 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 he doesn't want to. No, no, I'll join it. Budge up. Oh, oh. oh, great. <laughs> well, since we're all here together, I think uh, congratulations are in order. Oh. Our intake is up 80% on last year. We filled our quota of students. Still not quite sure how. We'll probably have a wrap. Yeah, Listen. well. Yeah. Anyway, we've earned ourselves a dinner. I'm starving. I didn't have any lunch today. 
now, my friends, I give you the taste of the Taj Indian Restaurant Lover's Banquet. The what banquet? Uh, nothing. Crumbs. This uh, looks skill. <laughs> Certainly very bright red. Here I have fashioned for you a giant heart made of the minced lamb, stuffed with the garlics and the chicken. And here one whole curried lover's chicken, stuffed with the minced lamb. <laughs> and here also a lover's chocolate sundae with a pink fudge sauce. And all on the same plate. <laughs> but of course... Well, I actually had quite a large lunch, but you guys tuck in. Yeah, who's Anna? <coughs> Eggheads, hi. Thought I might find you in here. Oh, Danny, are you here for the staff dinner? The what? Uh, nothing. Won't you join us? Yeah, can't stop pour manger, I'm afraid, but I might, uh, well, I might. Make to an offer you cannot refuse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, no. A uh, group of my students are uh, putting on a show tonight. Oh, sounds interesting. Yeah, no, it is, yeah. It's, um, it's Charlie's aunt, but it's set in Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> yeah, because, like, the whole situation is a farce. That sounds great. Uh, only I'm, uh, I'm sort of here with... Uh... Well, it's only for one night, and uh, after that we're burning the set and sending the ashes to Tony Blair. Oh. <laughs> well... Last chance. Oh, Colin, you don't mind if I go, do you? Um, well, well, I just thought that we were... I mean, it's, you know... it's not as if this is a date or anything. <laughs> No. No, I suppose not. Gentlemen, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Same time, and uh, well done again. Sayonara. Kenneth, I'm... I'm sorry for shouting at you the other night. Oh. Well, you know, that's all right. These, these things happen. Yeah. I'll be there for film club tomorrow. Maybe a drop of that orbital. Well, I'm afraid there's none left, actually. Yeah. What? Well, you can't have drunk it all. I mean, well, for a start, you're not blind. Well, no, I... I gave rather a lot away at the open day. What? Well, once I had all the kids in the lab, I demonstrated the art of brewing to them. I rather think that's how we signed up so many new students. <laughs> I think a bottle of that, they'd sign up to go to Basra. In fact, one of them did. <laughs> well, I've, I've done uh, yeah. I don't what I can with this mince heart, Colin, but I'm pretty full. Yeah, that is an enormous piece of meat. <laughs> well, fear not, Kenneth. I have brought along my bag for love. Yeah. You, uh, you, you hold it open. I'll scrape it all in. A bit of, uh, bit of air to air refueling. Uh, <laughs> who knows at six o'clock? Yeah. You've been listening to Double Science, written by Ben Wilbon and Justin Edwards, starring Ben Wilbon, Justin Edwards, Rebecca Front, Laza Jaffrey, and Dustin Demery Burns. It was a Radio 4 production, and the producer was Adam Bromley. No, I am disabled. I will be in here for some time. So I am. I am disabled. I will be in this toilet for some time. Kenneth, Please, for Kenneth, it's me. All right, all right, Colin, come in. And you really, you, you really must use the secret password, and then, then I'll know. Yeah, I just feel silly knocking on a toilet door and saying I'm Spartacus. <laughs> <sighs> Maybe I could just say, I'm Colin Jackson, no relation. Well, I, I can't just have anyone coming in here. Ugh, but, well, anyway, Alison wants us to have a staff meeting. And... Wow, what's that smell? Well, I'm uh, knocking up a new uh, brown ale, new term, new brew. Decided to call it Ryland's Dark Water. Should, uh, <laughs> should keep me numb till Christmas. Yes. <laughs> well, all those new students are rather intimidating. I'm not sure I like it, Kenneth. Well, me neither, Colin. I mean, I'm more than three in a class. Oh, Dr. Oates. <laughs> He wouldn't have stood for that. No, indeed. So he rarely stood for anything. Yeah, in fact, I, I don't really remember seeing him out of his chair. Uh, not, like, not like that woman. Oh, always busy, meddling, you know, uh, changing things that don't need to be changed, making us, making us plan lessons and mark books. Yes, and all the, uh, Kenneth, uh, Ken Kenneth, uh, don't get wound up. Uh, it's not all that bad. I mean, she just doesn't know about the brewery here, and, well, there's always the taste of a tart. Yeah, <laughs> oh, the tart. Oh. Yeah. Well, we've always got film club to look forward to. Oh, yeah. yes, yeah. Please tell me you got Predator. Uh, no, they, um, uh, they didn't have it, so I got uh, my beautiful laundrette and Top Gun. <laughs> Not Top Gun again, I'm bored of that. Well, maybe we could just watch the volleyball scene. Double Science by Justin Edwards and Ben Wilborn! <laughs> Oh, now 
it's locked me out. Oh, let me, miss. Oh, gosh, what are you doing? There we go, back in. That's marvellous. How did you guess my password? Well, I didn't. I just hacked, accessed the main security system, wiped your current settings and reset your profile. Well, that's very clever. Thank you, Donna. Or should I say Jill Gates? <laughs> It's Bill Gates, Miss. No, I know. I was calling you Jill because you're female and Bill Gates is a man, so I, I changed it. It's a joke. <laughs> oh, right. It's very funny, Miss. Now, you need a more memorable password. Shall I reset it? Mm, yes. Password? No. Something memorable. Something you like. Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> really, Miss? I wouldn't have thought he was your type. He does have some super recipes, even though he looks like a potato that's been in a fight. <laughs> My daddy thinks I'm fine. He's tried to make me go to rehab. I won't go, go, go. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Mm. Oh, you're a girl. It's a girl. Um, hello to you there. Yes. Um. Colin, this is Donna. She's one of our new intake. Uh, a student? Yes, Colin. A girl student studying science, but... but... Girls don't really study... Would science. you prefer it if I studied embroidery, flower arranging and kittens? Well, yes. No. I, no, I didn't mean that. Well, yes, no. God. Can you study a kitten? Well, for GCSE, maybe, probably. Donna, this is Dr Colin Jackson. Ah, here you are. Oh, crap it, there's another woman in here. Are you, are you multiplying, Alison? Donna, this is Dr Farley Pittman. Kenneth, this is one of our new pupils. But, uh, but you're... Yes, uh, that's right, Dr Farley Pittman. I am one of those. See you later. Thank you, Kenneth. Despite your backward views on female students, I think Donna could be an excellent pupil. She's a computer whiz, and she had very good GCSE results. University beckons, perhaps. Uh. How many students have gone on from this department to study at university? Oh, uh, lots, Alison, many. Um, lots of um, hundreds. Well, a hundred-ish. Yeah, well, yeah, yes, well, around 60s, well, probably. 50, 50 yeah. odd, well, doesn't give or take a few. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. taking into account 30, the... Um, 30, I should well, yes, say. Like a dozen odd, well, I suppose. 20 or so, well, 15 at least. Four, yeah. Or 14 if you yeah. leave out Simon Watts. Oh, oh yes, yeah. Yeah. unless by university you mean prison. Yeah, so... <laughs> Shut up! How many students have gone on to study science at university? Six. Five. Five. Four. Three. 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 Thank you. To business. Item one on the agenda, security. It appears that we have had unwanted visitors in this department overnight. Badgers? No, Colin. <laughs> Worse than that. Monkeys? No. It appears that... Not a horse. Please don't say there's been a horse in here again. No, Colin. It appears again. Well, you know, Racehorse wandered in here once. It was, uh, I rather liked him. Colin wasn't so keen. Oh, those eyes. <laughs> it's not a horse this time. It's human. I found a pair of trousers in the corridor by the labs. Ah, oh, that doesn't mean much. I mean, you know, people leave their trousers lying around all the time, don't they? I mean, you, you must have left your trousers in a corridor a few times. No, Kenneth, never. <laughs> It almost looks as if someone's been sleeping in here. I found old beer cans and a copy of Men's Health in the office. <laughs> well, uh, well, our culprit must be a, a fit man, someone who, who, who eats well and has good abs. I mean, it could, be, it could be anyone who's young and fit and who likes beer. I... Or it could be a passing tramp. Yes, that is more likely a reeking tramp. Yeah, Colin. No. No. Yeah, the kind that shouts at cars and has all poo and twigs in his yeah, beer. Yeah, Colin! <laughs> sorry, 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 Kenneth, I, I didn't mean... No, no. Also, someone seems to have been using the lab equipment out of hours. Oh? So I want you to make sure the place is properly locked up every night. Hey, we could install a tramp trap. <laughs> Actually, that's not a bad idea. Uh, bait it with cider. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, I never touch cider. So there would be no, uh, no danger of me setting it off when I uh, lock up at night and go home to my home in which, in which I live at home. I'm actually looking to move home at the moment if either of you two know somewhere. Scotland. Thank you, Kenneth. <laughs> Item two. Danny Woods has invited us all to the opening of the new arts block. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't go to the opening of his bum. <laughs> I don't suppose anyone would want to go to that, Colin. Yeah. Yeah, that, that doesn't quite work. Does yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, that Woods, he'll be there all pleased with himself and doing his voices. Yeah. But man is a flipping Benny. I mean, how come he gets all the money thrown at him? <sighs> well, his department consistently performs well, and a high proportion of his students do go on to study at university. Oh, if you can call it studying. Yeah, arts degrees to a penny. Uh, just dancing and crying for three years. <laughs> 
So are you coming to the opening? Thank you, but no. Yeah, I'd rather swallow bees. No, no, knowing to no. No, no, no. no. There'll be free drinks. Well, we could pop in, I suppose. Uh, yeah, just for one, right. I suppose, <laughs> probably. Right. Quiet, please. Thank you. So, that pretty much sums up the noble gases there. And, right. Right, no, wait, wait. The bell is a signal for you. It's not for me. No, it's a signal for me. It's not right. And, right, they've gone. Thank you. <clears throat> Great lesson, Dr Jackson. Oh, uh, thank you, Donna, yes. You might want to just double-check on mercury, though, sir. Sorry? It's not a gas. Ah, yes, well, um, not in its non-gaseous form. Uh, Neither is lead. Yeah, well, maybe. Uh, and bovril isn't really an element at all. <laughs> yes. Uh, d um, did you want something, Donna? Or, uh, yeah, we uh, need some new scales for the lab, sir. Oh, uh, why so? Well, the old ones are really wonky. I could really do with some accurate... I mean, the department could do with some accurate electronic ones. Ah, right. Well, um, thank you for pointing that out. I'll certainly mention it to Dr Hatton. Mm. You could ask her out at the same time, sir. What? Well, you do fancy her, don't you? Uh. Sir? I'm busy. <laughs> sir, why are you hiding in the cupboard? I'm marking books. Well, it's all right, Dr J. I won't tell her. I just think you should do something about it. How did you find out my secret? Well, you blush whenever she speaks and you can't look her in the eye. You just stare at your sandals. It's obvious. <laughs> just ask her out. Well... I could take her to a nice restaurant, I suppose. Candles, a gypsy violinist. No, no, mm. worse thing for a first date. Both uh, of you nervous, waiters right. fussing round all uptight. Invite her to yours. Bottle of Chablis, Jazz FM on the stereo, mm. rustle up a little something. Yes, well, I do quite a good eggy bread. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe something a bit more sophisticated. She's quite a Gordon Ramsay fan, apparently. Right. Well, I'd have to do a bit of research. Uh, I'd certainly have to wait till marbles and parbles are out. Uh, oh. You still live with your parents? No. Yes. You're a grown man, Dr J. Uh, but marbles irons my shorts, and parbles and I have nearly finished for railway. Oh, so... sort it out. <laughs> get yourself a nice bachelor pad and get around. Yes, well, uh, thank you, Donna. It's uh, well, certainly something to think about. And, yeah. Otherwise, you'll never get your Bunsen lit. <laughs> See you later, Dr J. Yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> ah, hello, my gentlemen. Lunchtime special for two. Oh, yeah, get in. Oh, thanks, Anish. <sighs> now, listen, Kenneth. You've got to find a new place to sleep. You can't stay in the office anymore. Oh, God, it was easy when Dr Oates was alive. He nicked off at midday. That, that Hatton woman she keeps hanging around, working. I mean, I, I'm always dodging her, and she makes the office smell of flowers and hairspray. It gives me funny dreams. Ugh. <laughs> she has spruced it up, I suppose. Oh, Dr Oates' office. It used to be perfect. That big chair. Oh, it was a brilliant chair. Oh, there's the smell of old leather and curry. He used to be like sleeping in a gentleman's club. Yeah. On curry night. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, it's time to move on, I suppose. So, what have you been doing with all that lab equipment? No, no, it was nothing to do with me. Oh, right. Here we are, to Lam Madras. Oh, Dr Kenneth, you haven't even finished up the mango chutneys, and I'm giving you all the spoons, all specials. Oh, well, you know, Kenneth is a bit stressed, Anish. He has to move house. Surely you and Kenneth are good friend. Kenneth could move in with you. Oh, well, no, you know, marbles and parbles are very particular, Anish. Oh, yeah, Michael and Janet won't forgive me for that business with the cat. Uh, poor Bendy Moo. You know, she's not been the same since. Well, what was it doing in the B-Day? <laughs> oh, miss, um, I didn't think anyone was... Uh, you're here late. Oh, Donna, what are you doing in the labs? I just had to find somewhere quiet to do my homework. Very industrious. Why the ladder, miss? Oh, we've had an intruder in the office, so I'm taking security measures. Oh, you're not putting up CCTV cameras, are you, miss? Sadly not. The new arts block has those, of course. I wish we could afford them, but we can't, so that's why I'm going to balance this bucket on the doorframe. It's not got water in it, has it, miss? Even better. A net. That way it'll fall on them and trap them. Well, I could rig you up a little system. Infrared beam across the door, break the beam and the door locks magnetically behind you, no way to get out. I could even make it as my first term physics project. 
Yes, well, that is a slightly better suggestion than my net bucket, I suppose. Oh, we could do it now. Oh, I've got to shoot off to look at a flat. Well, I'll set it up. Simple circuitry, some electromagnets. We've got all the bits and pieces in the lab. Well, if you don't mind, fingers crossed, we'll catch the intruder. Maybe they came intruder window. I doubt it, Donna. It's quite small and well locked. <laughs> no, no, I, I meant the intruder came intruder window. Well, there are no signs of forced entry. No, <laughs> it's a joke, miss. Intruder window. Oh, right. <laughs> of course, very good. They couldn't have come in through the window because it's too small, so that's very funny. <laughs> Whatever, miss. <laughs> Silencio, por favor, ladies and gentlemanes. <laughs> Mesdames et messieurs, gracias. Humble servant of the drama that I am, I welcome thee. Teachers, parenti et studenti, to the opening of the brand new arts block here at Forrester's College. Oh, look at Woods showing off. He's such a wazook. Why is he talking about silly way? Well, just, just ignore him, Colin. We've got all this free wine to get through. Oh, yeah, watch out for the modern languages. Lock that French assistant will be over here with a funnel. Right oh. <laughs> and I now declare open the Lou Diamond Phillips Drama Centre. Oh, well, there you are, you two. Have I missed much? Yeah, only the ramblings of some bohemian fruit bat worshipping his own shadow. Danny! Danny! Oh, he's coming over. Danny! Danny! Ah, oh, the lovely lady Alison of Hattonford. So nice of you to drop by, my Lieblinga. Guten Tag. Yeah, Laurel and Hardy, how are you two? Yeah, Woods. Uh, uh, Lauren and Hardy are actually quite popular, Woods, so that doesn't work. Oh. <laughs> uh, impressive facilities, huh? Oh, I think it's wonderful, Danny. My, thank you, ma'am, but not as wonderful as you. Oh. <laughs> I missed your speech, I'm afraid. I was looking at a flat and got delayed. Well, house hunting, eh? You should have said. I got me a spare room to rent. Really? Yeah, pop by later. Have a brewski and check out La Maison Woods. Satellite TV, broadband Wi-Fi, all mod cons. That sounds intriguing. Um, but right, well, right. Well, I've got a spare room as well, actually. Well, no, you haven't. Yes, I have, well. actually, Kenneth. I've recently moved into a trendy bachelor flat, and it's got a spare room as well, and it's got dimmer switches and a soda stream, and it's brilliant. Uh, Colin, <laughs> so, 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 you know, uh, maybe you should move in there. <laughs> Are you sure you could cope with a member of the opposite sex in the house, Colin? Uh, uh, just what do you mean by that, Woods? Well, you're not exactly a ladies' man, are you? You don't know what to do with one. Actually, I do, Woods. I practice with a Johnny and everything. <laughs> I think that's very sensible of you, Colin. Oh. oh, God. And I'd love to see your room. Perhaps you should have a housewarming. I'd like to see your trophies. Uh, oh, right, very funny. Well, all right, then. I will have a housewarming party Saturday, and, and you're all invited. Great stuff. Alison, why don't you come and see this mural we've had down in the yoga corner? It's uh, a satire on the Bayer tapestry with one George W. Bush as King Harold. God. <laughs> Oh, knockers, Kenneth. Why did I say that? Now I've got to move out and find a trendy bachelor pad by Saturday. Yeah, yeah. Maybe a little rash. Yeah. I think I've decided where I'm going to move to, though. Oh, oh right. Well, that was very quick. Where? Well, it's quite a large place, really. High ceilings, uh, very good lighting, brand new sofa, excellent showers and uh, toilet facilities. There's <laughs> even a coffee machine in the corridor. Well, we're going to move in here, the new arts block. Yes. Yeah. But, Gerard... I suppose this party is sort of your flat warming, then, isn't it? Well, yeah, I, I, I suppose it is. Yeah. 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 Ooh. Ooh. Cheers. Ah, mm. oh, wine. Tastes even better out of a pint glass. Oh. <laughs> hello, Coxton's estate agent. Saskia speaking. Ah, hello there. Yes. Um, I'm looking to rent a two-bedroom flat. Yeah. Uh -huh. And, um, well, I was wondering if you had anything like that at all. Oh, for surely. Uh, when would you be looking to rent? Ah, well, um, do you have anything that starts at 5pm tomorrow? What? Uh, well, preferably something with dimmer switches and a soda stream. Um, well, it's just I, I need to have a party in it. No, I mean, I, I want to have uh, drinks and do some Gordon Ramsay stuff in there. Not fighting. Um, I, I want to live in there too. I mean, I mean, a man is his late 30s, shouldn't really be living with his parents still, should he? You know, and, um, hello? 
Hello. Oh, ruddy hell. Ah, oh, Alison, Alessone, Vilcom, and Bienvenue, Shea Woods. <laughs> May Casa et tu Casa, Fräulein. Oh, it's lovely, Danny. Oh, gosh, is that a poster of you? Oh, yeah. Uh, keep uh, meaning to take that one down. <laughs> a bit embarrassing, really. Just a little open-air Shakespeare thing from a few years back. Oh, that must have been such fun. Yeah, a musical version of King Lear set in the Falklands. <laughs> I played buttons. <laughs> then let me give you the tour. Ici, of course, the open plan uh, kitchenette uh, lounge area. Right. <laughs> like to chillax here. Pop bulletproof monk DVD on the 42 inch plasma flat screen and soak up the moves. Through here's where you'll be staying. Oh, it's snug. Oh, yeah, but uh, if you move the ironing board out, then you'll gain another foot or so. It really is quite small, Danny. Oh, well. Well, there's always room in the master suite. You never know. Oh, no, I couldn't move you out of there. Yeah. It's scared and hard in here, so take off all my clothes. Are you all right? Yeah, Do you so feel hot. ill? I want to take my clothes. Can I get it hot? Yeah, a bit of fever. You give me fever, Alessone. Fever, fever, fever. Fever all through the night. Danny, I, um... Fever Las Vegas. Yeah, I, I'm going to shoot fever off, Danny. Fever Las and, Vegas. And let you have a lie down. Oh, God, why does it never work? <laughs> Donna P. All right, Figs. No, it's fine. I'll have them ready by morning. Yeah, all right. Well, I'll come to yours and we can go on from there. Oh, uh, 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 Figs, I've, I've got to go. Someone's coming. Yeah. Mm. Ah, Donna, wh what are you doing here? It's nearly midnight. Well, Dr. Farley Pittman, what are you doing here? Well, I left my towel in the bin, so I've put... No, no, listen, I'm, I'm the teacher, so I'll ask the questions. Go on, then. Yeah, uh, right, well, I knew, I knew someone was using the equipment in here and... Uh, are those what I think they are? Well, they're not aspirins. You can't make drugs in the science labs. You could go to prison. Well, you can't live in the science labs. You could go to prison. Yeah, what for? Breaking and entering? Theft? Currently being in the presence of a minor without wearing your trousers? R right, well, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not actually living in the office anymore. So, hang, hang on, how did you know I was living in there? Not, not that I have been, if I were, theoretically, which I'm not. I've been coming here every night, and every night you've been in the office. Well, with no trousers on, surrounded by beer bottles and takeaway cartons. Right, well, coincidence. Where have you been the last two nights? I rather miss the snoring. Well, it's hardly your business, but I've uh, moved into the new arts block. Oh, I'm not entirely sure that's a good idea. No, I don't know. The showers are excellent and the vending machine gives you out free crisps if you hit it hard enough. No, no, no. I, I mean, the arts block has CCTV cameras all over the place. Oh, crap. First thing Monday morning when they look at the tapes, you'll be done for. Oh, big crap. What am I going to do? I can't lose my no, job, Donna. I could... Calm down, Dr. FP. I've got a plan. What? Well... The cameras are digital, so footage will be stored on a hard drive on the main college server. I could hack into it, wipe off the evidence of you in the arts block, you'll be in the clear. That is a very good plan. Well, it's more of a deal. I save your job, you let me use the labs at night. All right, it's a deal. Right, we'll have to use your computer. What's your password? Uh, Yumkar. What? How's that spelled? Yumkar. Y-M-C-A. <laughs> Right, there's the footage. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, there I am. Just have to rewind to the start and wipe this. And there you are. Oh, no clothes on. Well, no. well I just used the showers, Donna. What are you doing there? Well, I didn't have a towel, you see. It's how dogs dry themselves. <laughs> right, well, what... That... That's, um, actually, I have seen a dog do that as well. No, no you really, you really you don't, you don't need to see what happens next. Just delete, just delete, delete it. All right, delete, right, all right. There, it's done. Good, right, thank you. So, uh, we needn't speak about this ever again. Deal. Where are you going to stay now? Well, I really don't know. I, I can't go back to my wife. I'm rather attached to the office here. Why I'm... don't you... You're married. Uh... You should just move into that disabled toilet you use for brewing your beer. Well, yes, but how do you know about that? Oh, everybody knows except Dr. Hassan. Now, I've got a big order on these pills tonight, so if you don't mind... Oh, yeah, what are you, what are you making up there anyway? What is it, Doves, Happy Harrys, Snappers, Crazy Caps, Paxmans, Mitsubishis, Charlie Browns? Mm, quite the dark horse, Dr. Farley Pittman. Would you like a couple? Well, why not, yeah. Just keep them in my pocket, never know when they might come in handy. 
Now, I'm just going to pop into the office, get my towel, and be off. Oh! Um, the office is alarmed. Hang on, I'll let you out. Oh, good job I moved out when I did. Yeah. Ah, oh, hello there. Yes, welcome to the housewarming party. Uh, no, it's, it's all right, Marbles. I mean, mate. It's for me. <clears throat> oh, Colin, it. this is great. Oh. It's really big. Ah, uh, uh, well, no, uh, not in there. Um, that's my landlord's bit of the house. I was, uh, he's just, yeah, well, anyway, they live there. And um, this is my new place just here on the side. You know, the very best thing about it is the uh, front door is massive and, and it's electronic. You know, I just have to open it up with this remote control device, like so. Yeah. Uh. Oh, right. So you have to get through the garage to get into the flat? Uh, not as such, no. <laughs> So you moved into a garage. You're such a loser, Jackson. Yeah, I, I, I like to think of it as a conversion bachelor studio. It's uh, a garage. <laughs> oh. Yeah, evening all. Oh, Kenneth. No, don't get up. You stay on the mower. <laughs> is, there a, is there a cat in here? Yeah, well, Bendy Moo sleeps in here at night. But uh, she ran away the moment she saw Kenneth. Uh, Are you allergic, Danny? Oh, just a bit. <laughs> oh, I've got some uh, antihistamine pills here, if that's a... <laughs> That's of any use? Yeah, cheers, Kinder. Give me a much obliged. Be my guest. Oh, look at all this bric-a-brac. Oh, look, I used to have one of these toy phones when I was young. It ran between my sister's room and my room, and we phoned each other. Oh, uh, <clears throat> Colin Jackson, no relation? Yes, yes. Well, of course we'll keep the noise down. Yes, I know, I know. Thank you, bye. Sorry, it's uh, Midsummer Murders, and, well, Parbles gets livid if he misses a single detail. Uh, he keeps a record of the plots, you see. He did the same with Poldark. Yeah. Uh, it is your parents' garage. <laughs> this is priceless. It, no, I, no, it's my landlord's, my land parents, yeah, yes. But, uh, right, um, now, food. Lovely. Uh, yeah, um, then sit down and have some of my bloody volovons. Colin? Shut up and eat my ruddy food uh, and, and have an effing drink. Why are you shouting at me? Well, well, I thought you liked Gordon Ramsay, I don't know. I like his food, Colin. Ooh. Ooh, nice one, Caxon. Got any music? Yeah, well, um, well, we can have the radio on quietly, but if Parbles misses a single word of nettles, he gets the red mist. Yeah, come on, right. come on, something to dance to. Right. Something with a beat. Are you all right, Danny? You're sweating a bit. Yeah, come on, let's dance. Come on! Yeah, oh, sorry, just... But, yes, yeah, I know. I'm terribly sorry, Marbles, I know. I know. Oh, I... Please, Woods, you've got to keep it quiet. Oh, this party, this party blows, man. God, I need tunes. I'm off up the drama department. It's got lights, a sound system. Come on! Oh, no, oh wait, just turn that off now. Right. You seem very excited. Yeah, I think I might, uh, might be off as well. Right. Might pop by the Taj and slide a booner in. Oh. So... Just, uh, the two of us, Alison. Uh, there we are. Uh, take a seat. Oh, oh right, right, sorry, watch out. That's, uh, Parvel's old abdominator. Uh, he bought it from, uh, Innovations, but then he got a hernia. Uh, <laughs> soda stream? I think I might be off, Colin. Oh, but no, no, uh, you know, I, I thought we could just, you know, chill off, or, um, you know, if you wanted to stay a little bit longer, I could, I could get the swing ball out, you know. Perhaps another time, Colin. I've got to go home and pack. Hey, no, no, don't leave me. I, no, uh, I, I found a flat uh, I like near college, so I'm going to move in there, but uh, thank you for a lovely party. Right. I'm sure you'll be very cosy here in your... A, a bachelor conversion studio flat. Yes, <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. <clears throat> See you Monday. Yes, yeah, right. Mm. Oh. <laughs> the door, Colin? Oh, yes, sorry. <laughs> oh, right. That's it. Bye, Ben. Alison Hutton. Oh, there are so many things. Oh, fuck. Ruddy abdominator. There you are. There you are, uh, Colin. Get your laughing gear out of that. Yeah. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. There's something better to take the edge off, like a bottle of Ryland's dark water. Uh, you know, I don't know why you didn't think of moving into this disabled toilet before, Kenneth. Well, you know, uh, once I pushed the uh, brewing tackle behind the cistern there and popped the camp bed up, it all sort of fell into place. Uh, <laughs> you know, we should christen it. Well, I'm one step ahead of you there, Colin. I've decided to call it The Willows. Ah, oh, that is brilliant, Kenneth. The Willows it is. Cheers! Cheers! Uh, uh, uh. Oops, sorry, it's a little cramped. Yeah, well, <laughs> 
Right, time for film club. What? Where are we going to go for that? Well, well, right here. But voila. Wow, that is huge. 42 inch flat screen plasma. That is acematic, Kenneth. Where did you get it? Well, uh, Danny Woods gave it to me. Oh, oh. I, I don't understand. Oh, you will. Watch this. Can you beat it? Danny Woods in the house. One That's time. Danny. One time. What's he doing? Well, he's having his own private rave in his studio after your party, Colin. <laughs> Look at him. He's dancing like a donger. He's taking his shirt off. Look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Donna found me the footage on CCTV. I suggested to Woods I might get her to put it on YouTube, and he kindly agreed to give me his television. <laughs> in, uh, in return for the master tape, which I've left for him in Alison's office. <laughs> oh, skill Beaumont. Yeah. I, uh, I now declare the first meeting of the Willows Film Club open. Ah, oh, right. What's the line-up? Well, I thought about what you said about Top Gun, so I've scrapped oh. it in favour of a Western. Uh, young Guns? Brokeback Mountain. Huh. <laughs> Double Science was written by Justin Edwards and Ben Wilborn. It starred Margaret Caborn Smith, Raza Jaffrey, Rebecca Front, Justin Edwards, and Ben Wilborn. The producer was Adam Bromley. <laughs> Oh, uh, the orbital is a mighty brew, Kenneth. Mm. Yeah, it gets you right in the brain. <laughs> These are the last two bottles, I'm afraid. Yeah. Oh, no. What about the next batch? You know, is, is the rotation system not in place, Kenneth? Well, the, uh, the beer allowance matrix has gone a little socks up, Colin. We've got through the last crate in a matter of days. Been a very stressful week. Yes, we had to double the allowance after Alison made us mark those mock papers. Yeah, yeah. well, in fact, we doubled our intake whilst marking them, which I now realise was a mistake. Yes. I drew a race car on one of them, I think. Mm-hmm. Then I saw double and marked them all twice, upside down. <laughs> Still, there should have been another dozen or so. I well, well, Tuesday night, you see, a bit of a haze after the Top Trumps tournament. Oh. That, that lamb vindaloo kept me thirsty all night, so I kept having to slake my throat, and then when I woke up, I was even thirstier than normal. Yes. I'll never understand how that works. <laughs> Double Science by Justin Edwards and Ben Wilborn. You know what you're looking for. I said, I bet but you look good on the dance floor. Uh, oh, hello, Alison. <clears throat> Morning, Colin. Oh, yeah, hello to you. Uh, you're looking very nice. Uh, Thank you, Colin. Uh, have you been to a haircut? No, Colin. <laughs> you look very smart. Uh, well, I always like to start the week with clean shorts. <laughs> Hello, Kenneth. Nice weekend. Uh, 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 Kenneth and me had a Top Trumps tournament on Sunday. We made our own cards for all the members of staff at Forrest's. I drew the pictures and Kenneth did the scores for everyone. It was brilliant. Ooh, do I feature? Uh, Does the Pope have a balcony, (laughs) Alison? Yes, of course he does. Uh, Quite a big one, I think. I mean, he's got to make all those speeches and so on. uh, No, no, that's just it. I mean, he does have a balcony, so... Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yes. He does have one. Right. Yes, I see. <laughs> of course, right. So, is he on your top trumps? It, no, no, no. It, never mind. L- let's just say that I drew a very flattering picture of you, Alison, and you scored very highly. Well, so, Colin, uh, that's not a. Uh, 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 <clears throat> so, what's the uh, agenda today? Oh, nice to see you keen for once, Kenneth. First off, I would be grateful if you could put some trousers on. Ah, yes. Uh, uh, how that happened. Uh, uh, help us in, really, Colin. No, oh, wait, very good. There we go. Left a bit. Okay. Quite nearly. Try again. There, there. there we go. Ooh, uh, Nanook is back in his igloo. Proceed. Thank you, Kenneth. Um, now, I've been having a look at our teaching materials, and I really think it's time to have an upgrade. I've ordered some new periodic table posters for the labs. Oh, come off it, if it ain't broke. But it is broke, Kenneth. Look at this periodic table. Oh, I don't know. Looks OK to me. I mean, they're all there. It dates from 1940. <laughs> there are over 20 elements missing. Yeah, well, none of the important ones. So plutonium isn't important. <laughs> Ah, bonjour, boffins. Not interrupting, I hope. Uh, Actually, yes, Woods. We're having a staff meeting and it's for science staff, not dancers. So there. Colin? Not at all, Danny. Nice to see you. How can we help? Uh, Just popping by to see if you fancied a trip to the Arts Centre tonight. There's a great uh, Romanian mime troupe in town. They tell the story of Ceausescu using nothing but a table and three pears. (laughs) 
<laughs> what a load of hippie drivel. Oh, yeah, well, not everyone has the ability to appreciate art, Kennykins. Yeah. yeah, well, you should have seen how I drew you on your top trumps, Woods. It was on the toilet, and you score no points for anything. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love to go, Danny. Ah, oh, Splendorola. I'll, uh, I'll book some billets. <laughs> oh, and I suppose uh, Tweedle's dumb and D here know about the uh, homebrew competition. What? Yeah, I picked up this leaflet at the arts centre. Yeah. But I guess you're not so keen on that hippie drivel place, so, well, why don't I just pop it in the dustbin? No, 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 no give me that bin. <laughs> I'll be back. Yeah, Ali. <laughs> yeah, to pick you up. About six, I reckon. Ciao. Right, you've gone pale. Oh, Colin, Colin, look. Oh, it can't be. Crikey, Kenneth. He, he's coming here. Who? Only Roger Halliday. Oh, he knows more about real ale than any man alive. And he's judging the homebrew competition. Yeah, we, we might get to actually meet him. Touch his robe. I've never heard of him. What but... Colin means is that Halliday is a wizard. He's an alchemist. I mean, they say he can tell over 40 varieties of hop by touch alone. We have to enter. The winner will receive £2,000 and their ale will be properly produced for market by the Hornbeam Brewery. Oh, imagine, Kenneth. I mean, we could enter a new batch of Orbital. Oh, perfect. Well, it all sounds jolly good fun, but I don't want this taking up any college time or facilities. Is that clear? Copy that, Alison. Oh, are these your top trumps, Colin? Uh, uh, yes, but um, don't look at them, please, um, because... Um, mm. Is that me? Uh, yes, please. <laughs> What's that I'm sitting on? It's... A unicorn? Oh, God. And I'm wearing? A metal bra. <laughs> oh, hello, Anish. Oh, these are oh. happy days indeed. Oh. Fire up the tandoor, Anish. The cavalry's in town. Oh, dear. That is just it, gentlemen. I'm afraid I cannot. What? What's, What's wrong? wrong? Uh, I'm having Boston Council on my back. <laughs> I'm saying, unless I'm not replacing my tandoor oven, him close me down. What? I'm needing for to buy the new ones, but you know it is so expensive. Well, well how much? About two thousand pound. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh. Well, that is a lot of money. I mean, you know, all yeah. these ruddy rules well, nowadays. Uh, you know, uh, it's all political correctness, isn't it? Speed cameras uh, asking Brussels if we can go to the toilet. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah and you have to fill in a form just to fill in another form, and, you know, then you have to fill in another form, you know. There are forms yeah, everywhere. Well, if, you know, Brussels and their, their cronies in Europe had it their way, they'd have us all wearing protective eye goggles and walking around in big padded yeah. suits from uh, guards. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's a nanny state yeah, nowadays, nanny isn't, state, it, isn't it, Kenneth? It's a nanny, nanny state. state. Gentlemen, yeah, calms down, calms down. Hey, it's like an episode of Top Gear in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's quite a crowd in here, Kenneth. Yeah. Oh, I've never smelt so many beards collected in one place before. <laughs> oh, I, I can't believe that Halliday is going to be here, Kenneth. Right here. It's going to be like meeting Merlin and God and Brian May all rolled into one. Uh. Oh, Roger Halliday, the fighting wizard. Uh, hey, what's that story about Halliday with his geese, Kenneth? Well, it is said that he once drank 15 pints of old Goddard and then took a shortcut home and ended up in a field of nesting geese. Crumbs. He was still fighting them the next morning. Some say there were 50 in that field. Never got over it. He's more than a man, Colin. Oh. <sighs> Hello, Colin. Uh, Kenneth. Alison, what are you doing here? Danny and I are off to see the matinee performance by the Mime Troupe. Bonjour, les enfants. What's this gathering of hairy nut jobs all about? Oh, sock it, Woods. This is man's business. I think. Oh, I think I can see him. I can see him. Ah, oh, there. No, yes, yes. He's got. Oh, oh, he's here. I don't think I've ever seen Kenneth so animated. Oh, well, you haven't seen him at film club after a screening of Spartacus in a yard of orbital, Alison. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Merry Casketeers, Sanctus Malt, Sanctus Hops, in nomine tankard, Ephelius Beer. <laughs> it giveth me pleasure great in my bosom, and nay, I say in corpus delicta mea, to pronounce I these brutime happenings of crep and majesticus underfoot. <laughs> oh. Uncle, sorry, Kenny, what's he saying? Oh, um, well, he's welcoming us to the competition. He's saying that it gives him great pleasure to be here and so on. Mm. Exactly why is he talking like such an imbecile? Well, it hasn't been officially recognised as a language, but most casketeers do speak a bit of beer tongue. 
beer tongue. Yes, well, it's developed over many years. It's a sort of mixture of Latin and Middle English, along with traces of Elvish and a smattering of Klingon. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's very difficult to master. Of course, Halliday and the upper circle of Camber are pretty fluent. Mm-hmm. Quo vadis competitus erat? Regulare uno. Insistus regulare magnus di camera e tutti home brew. Thou must in dominus brew thine ale. Yes, he's, he's saying here are the rules. Uh, rule number one, you can only enter home brewed ale or beer. Regulare due. Nil lagere verboten est. Ooh, Ooh. Yeah, well, yeah. Ooh. Rule two, Ooh. absolutely no lager allowed. I mean, Ooh. naturally. Ooh. Ooh. If thou est lager producto, Thine will be as verbaled upon. Hap, sosli, quatch! <gasps> Gosh, Ooh. that is quite serious. What did he say? Well, that's a Klingon phrase. Yeah. It's very rude. Uh, it, it means your mother has a smooth forehead. Pint <laughs> 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 the cascadeer! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> right, well, we, uh, we better go and sign up. Uh. I think I might have a pop as well. What? Yeah. But you can't. Well, why not? It's open to anyone, isn't it? If you two are entering, then how difficult can it be? I'll, uh, yeah, I'll brew up a beer just for you, Alison. Oh, Danny, that's very sweet of you. Yeah, I'll call it beautiful lady beer. Oh, Danny, really? <laughs> uh, right, uh, right. Well, I'm going to make my own special beer as well. Well, you mean, you mean we are, Connor. We're going to enter the orbital. You know, it can't fail. No, I, I am sorry, Kenneth. I'm doing one myself. But uh, you, you can't. It's our beer. You, you and me doing it. No, 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 no. This is a special beer, but I'm going to make myself a very special person. Oh, Colin. Habsosly quitch. <laughs> yeah, um, so I'd very much like it if you could all uh, complete the paper by the end of next week. I mean, it doesn't have to go into too much detail, but uh, if you could cover the basics of our solar system, that would be good. So thank you. Uh, uh, Dr. Mm. Farley Pittman said it'd be right. all right if we focused on one planet in particular. Uh, 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 right. Uh, which one was that? Uranus, sir. Uh... Uh, uh, right. right. Yes, thank you. I, uh, right. Thank you. I see what you're doing there, but uh, I know what you've done. Right. They've gone. Thank you. Yep. All right, sir. Ah, oh, Donna. Yes. Hello to you there. <laughs> Are you all right, sir? You seem a bit distracted. No. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. Well, I, I, I need a favour. Oh, it depends. Donna, do you know how to make beer? What? <laughs> You're joking, right? No. Well, what about the willows? You and Dr. F.P. make beer all the time. Oh, yes, well, um, you know, I sort, well, I sort of do a lot of washing of demijohns and funnels and, you know, Kenneth sort of does all the rest, you know. Just ask him to help you then. Uh, well, we're not talking at the moment. You see, I've decided to make a beer for Alice, uh, Dr. Hatton to impress her for this homebrew competition and, well, I, I am a bit stuck. Aw, oh, well, of course I'll help you. Oh, that is skill, Donna. Skilladelphia. Don't say Skilladelphia, uh, Right. <laughs> and it is going to cost you. Uh, OK, well, how much? I, I mean, I've got £149 in my Junior Griffin savings account. Yeah, uh, well, that'll do, for starters. Right. Uh, no more homework for three months? Done. Great. So, what are you going to call it? Ah, now, well, the naming of an ale is a precision art, Donna. Mm. Mm. If it's for Dr Hatton, you should call it something that evokes her. Yes. Something light and beautiful. Good stuff. Air, airy, fairy air, air, golden air. Yes. Something that goes with Alice and Amber, perhaps. Golden lady. It's a bit wet. Yeah, wet. Drizzle, rain, uh, uh, shower. A pint of golden shower, please. No, 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 really not that, sir. Why not? I think that's rather good. Um, Let's just go back to Amber. Right, Alison's Amber. Perfect. Right. Do you think you could just give me a hand putting this up? Oh, oh right, yes. <laughs> the new periodic table. Gosh, it's a lot bigger than the last one, isn't it? Yeah, what's this? Radon. Hmm. I thought that was something you put in your washing machine. <laughs> Where's uh, Kenneth? Uh, uh, I don't know, and I don't care. Oh, I really am beginning to get fed up with you two not speaking. It's very childish. Well, he started it. Mm. <laughs> well, can't you make up now? Look, he's coming. Oh. Kenneth? Mm. What do you think of the new periodic table? Unnecessary. 
Colin was just telling me about your film club. Yeah, you can tell Dr Jackson that he is not welcome at film club for the foreseeable future. Uh, Alison, will you kindly inform my esteemed colleague, Dr Farley Pittman, that Dr Jackson couldn't give two guffs about film club so far? Well, you can tell Dr Jackson that he wouldn't be so flippant if he knew what films I had for this week. Please, both of you. Alison, uh, can you please tell Dr Farley Pittman that I don't care, but what are they anyway just out of interest? Oh, Colin, really? Well, yeah, Alison, you can tell Dr Jackson that the films are Blue Thunder and Predator, which I happen to know are his favourites. Kenneth, this is so silly. Alison, please tell Dr Farley Pittman that it's not fair and that he normally never wants to watch those films and he's only doing it to be mean and it's just not on and so fair. <laughs> Kenneth, will you please stop this? It's more than I can bear. Well, no, he, he knows we were going to do the homebrew competition together and we do everything together and now he's gone off to do it by himself and he's only doing it to be mean and it's not fair. <laughs> I feel like I'm running a crash. Ah, oh, the Dr. Huttons. Long time not seeing it. Hello, Anish. How are you? Oh, you know me, ducking in the diving, close to the streets, keeping it reels. Oh, right. Um, not sure. <laughs> Listen, Anish, I was wondering if you could help me. I always do what I can. It's Colin and Kenneth. They've fallen out. They're not talking to each other. I am knowing this. They are coming here last night. Two of the separate tables. I am back and forth all evening, you know. I'm not bloody messenger, innit? It's oh, <laughs> awful. But look, I was wondering if you might be able to cook them something special this weekend. I'll pay, and I could get them over here. No, I'm afraid that is impossible. Why? Oh, council are closing me down. If I'm not replaced on door oven, that's it. No more tosh. Anish, that's awful. Why don't you just replace it? Because it is costing 2,000 pounds. I don't have that sort of money, Dr. Muttons. If I do, I would go on skiing holiday to Val d'Isere, full board, including ski pass and plight. Oh, Lord. <laughs> just think, if there's no more Tosh, Colin and Kenneth, well, I don't know what would happen. It'd be like taking a bottle from a baby. A bottle of curry. <laughs> Not that you'd give a bottle of curry to a baby. Would you? No. No. Not even a mild one? No. no. You know, I would give you the money if I could, Anish. Hang on. How much did you say it was? Two thousand of the knickers. <laughs> but uh, I couldn't take it off you. But if you got it, I bloody would. No, no, no. I don't have it. But I have got an idea. I think I might be able to brew you out of a corner, Anish. Do you have a pair of really large saucepans I could borrow? Is the Pope a Catholic? Well, yes, he is, I think, yeah. Yeah, of course he is, Annie. She's the head of the Catholic Church, so, yeah. No, 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 I'm saying that he is Catholic. Right, yes. Oh, <laughs> I know how this works. Yes, you might say he's the top trump of the church. I really have no idea what you're talking about now. Just forget it. So, do you have any pans? Yep. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, Donna, how's it coming along? I oh. think you'll be pleasantly surprised, oh, sir. Right. Mm. Oh, that is delicious, Donna. This is Brit. Shit, that is strong. Deal done, Dr. J. Oh, Kenneth would love this. Well, there's oh. 20 bottles there. You could spare a couple for him. Uh, no, we're not speaking. I know, Dr. Hatton's going spare. Oh, dear. I don't want to make her cross. I mean, she's pretty scary when she throws a Benny. Cool. She's still angry over that race car I drew, you know. Look, why don't you just make it up with Dr. F.P.? You could take a couple of bottles of Alison's Amber round as a peace offering. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Well, I mean, I could go round to the Willows and knock on the door and then, well, Kenneth would open it too quickly and I could fall in and the bottles would smash and Kenneth would fall over and hit his head and I would cut myself on the glass and we'd both die right there. And the alcohol, well, it would mummify us both, wouldn't it? And, and then when they discovered us, they would say, hello, that's Colin Jackson. But they'd get me confused with a real Colin Jackson and, and, and they would put it in a museum but not a proper museum it would be a sports museum so it wouldn't count I didn't mean literally the worst thing that could happen Dr J oh right sorry yeah I am disabled I will be in here for some time please use an alternative facility Kenneth, it Kenneth it's me it's Colin oh Jackson Iscariot <laughs> I wondered if you'd like to try my ale. I think it might stick in my throat. Well, I've poured you a glass. Um, well, as it's there, in front of me. Uh, uh, 
Oh, oh Agga do, Colin. Uh, push pineapple, Kenneth. Yeah, not bad, is it? Yeah, God. Wow, there's barley in uh, there. Caramel undertones. Yeah, smooth uh, finish. This one reminds uh, me of uh, Ryland's Dark Water. You uh, remember that, that beer festival in Malvern? Yeah, yeah. Beer was folk, 98. Yeah. Who could forget? Yeah, yeah, we're here. There's beer. Get used to it. Uh, yeah. Happy times. <laughs> Look, I'm... Sorry about the whole competition thing. Well, you, don't, you don't seem rather yeah, silly you know, to argue, would be you know. Silly there, wouldn't it? You know, because so we've forth, worked together. Yeah. Well, it does seem film club oh, and well, what to so, do about. Yeah, so well, so, uh, yeah, well, paid. So, so, well, no, well, no, thank you. No, thank you. No, well, thank you. Thank you. No, well, thank you. Thank you. Are you too? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Good. Well, I'm glad that's settled. Yes, yes. yes. Well, well, there good, 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 good to be back. Thank you. Well, well, don't don't stand out there. Come in. Yes, well, no, no, you have the seat. I'll lean against the basin. Whoa. There she blows. Oh, uh, <clears throat> Gosh, Kenneth, I tell you what, it's very smart in here. I mean, you've stacked up the takeaway boxes and look, your pants are under the camp bed. Yeah, well, guess who's coming around? Oh, Anish? Roger Halliday. No, here? Yeah, I happened to bump into him at the Taj and, and asked him if he'd like to pop round for some ales. Oh, yes, well, give him some orbital. Ah, yeah. well, I haven't made any more. Uh, what about the competition? Well, yeah. You know, I, I can't brew without you to help me, Colin. Hey, uh, you know, it's not right. You know, we're a team. Uh, Seafried and Roy. Uh, well, uh, and Bonnie and Clyde. Uh, uh, yeah. Shakademus and Pliers. Well. Uh. <laughs> Rene uh, and Renata. Yeah. Yeah. All those girls from Tattoo. Uh. Yeah. A, bit, a bit a bit, like that. Or yeah, no, no. the Crankies. Uh, did you know that the young one is actually the old one's husband and he wears a dress? I, I think. Yeah. Uh, possibly. Well, well, the old team is back together now, yeah. and we've actually got Roger Halliday coming here to my very own disabled toilet. Yeah. But what can we give him? Well, I've bought over 40 different bottled ales. We're going to have a blind tasting. Brilliant. Even Halliday couldn't blind taste 40 ales. <sighs> Ale number 39. Stubby Larwood's Porter. Well, yep, yeah, that's, yep, correct. Yep. Und was? I drink ale 40. <clears throat> Solon's Reach. Well, yes, yeah, spot on. Once again, Roger, that is amazing. You've, you've named them all blindfolded. Uh, and drunk them all. <laughs> it is a skill born of many moons, Quaffin. Wow. <clears throat> Can I take my blindfold off now, Kenneth? I'm slightly scared. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, ah. What are your trousers? What um, needs a man? Pantaloons, eh? Right. Away with the cladding. Let the shanks be free. Well, I've been saying this for years. Uh, <laughs> well, shall we have but these few sips, eh, Cascadeers? Yeah, I bet you drunk 40 bottles, Roger. And it did not but wetten my beak, boy Jackson. Right. My gullet needs ale, mm. ale, ale. Uh, oh, tankard full is man's delight, yet tankard empty graven sight. Uh, keep, keep full ye throat, throat and oil thy tongue, tongue with, with ale, ale and porter, porter sweet and, and strong. Uh, Kenneth, I'm scared. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> it's just an old brewer's chant, Colin, but uh, he will get dangerous if we don't give him something. Where's the geese? Where are they? Bring them to me. Look on me, black and beady eyes that know no shame. Honking your malice from your beaks of hate. Come down, ye squadrons of feather-bound Canadian bastards. Right, OK, you... quick, quick, quick. Pass that, pass, get that bottle of yours there, Colin. Right. Um, um, how about a, a, a drop of something special? Oh, uh, <laughs> Oh, oh, by the rude, what clepin ye this liquid fire? Uh, Alison's amber. Uh. Oh, she must be a broad-thighed wench with a blazing bosom for such a glass, eh? Uh, but, but yes, gosh, bosoms, yes, um, there. So, yes, well, she's uh, Dr. Hatton and she teaches here. A merry bone setter, eh? Well, well, yes. well, then we shall drink her ale and let it cure our ills. Yeah, we've got to go and call go, go and get some more. Get yeah, some well, more. I suppose I could get two more bottles of it, but really, only two more. No more after that. I, I really mean it. Oh, hello? What? Hello? Uh, sorry, is that Dr. Alison Hutton? Hutton, yes. Who, who are you? It's three in the morning. This is WPC Collins from Hope Lodge Police Station. Oh my goodness, what's happened? I have a Kenneth Farley Pittman and a Colin Jackson. Illumination! They asked me to call you, see if you might be able to come and fetch them. Has there been an accident? No, we found them caught here in the fencing at the Wetlands Centre. Ah, ah, Have they been arrested? It's just a caution this time. They were trying to get in and fight some geese. It wasn't us, Alison. It was Halliday. He made us do it. Yeah, shut up, Colin. 
It, there was mention of a third party. We haven't been able to locate him. Oh, and uh, could you bring some tracksuit bottoms? <laughs> the big one hasn't got any trousers on. <laughs> Oh, Kenneth, what happened last night? Well, I think it's best if we try and draw a veil over it, Colin. God, we were quite drunk. You know, at one stage, you broke wind so loudly it set off two car alarms, Kenneth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Count yourselves lucky you aren't in more serious trouble. I'm very disappointed with you both. Yeah, I'm very sorry, Lassen. It was Halliday, you know, he sort of went wild. Maybe like teenagers. Yeah, and we drank all of the amber. And now I can't win the prize, and, and it was so special. Why? Well, it was for... Well, I made it to impress... Ah, the legendary geese fighters. How are we this morning? Yeah, Woods. <laughs> I hear you had quite a night out, eh, hombres? Honk, honk. <laughs> Got a little tipsy, did we, Colin? One too many halves of shandy. Yeah, I'm not listening, Woods. It's announcement time. Oh, God, there he is. Oh, Lord. Crumbs. I mean, look at him, Kenneth. I don't understand. How can Halliday look so normal after what happened? Yeah, I rather suspect he does that kind of thing every night. Well met, Brotherhood of the Hop. Before that I clap in the victor, I have an extraordinary citation. Danny Woods, reveal thyself. What? <laughs> I thought my beautiful lady beer might prove popular. <laughs> Woods, what have ye brewed here? Never would I have thought it, nay, never. Pretty popular stuff, eh? It is... Is a lager! Oh. Oh. But how dare ye! How dare ye besmirch my palate with this gaseous mixturation? Yeah, I'd make a run for it if I were you, Woods. No! No, 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 not his face! No, no, don't touch my face! I have an actor! <laughs> hey, look, Kenneth, they're gonna kick him in. Oh, happy day. <laughs> and thus, Cascadeers, I reveal to ye the conqueror. This ale is rich and deep, yet tinged with cumin, saffron, and mysterious spices of the eastern continent. Truly, it is an ale of the gods, and I hail it the victor. The brew is Tandor. Oh, that sounds brilliant. God, I wonder who could have... Step forward, <laughs> Dr. Alison Hatton. Mm. Crikey, I've won. <laughs> Here we go, gentlemen. One lamb Danzac for two, and a brace of the garlic naan. Oh, this looks great, Anish. Yeah, splendid. Yeah. And look, he spelt your names in chilies. Oh, thanks, Anish. Oh, this is skill by mouth. Oh, it was prepared in my brand new oven. Thank you so much, Dr. Buttons. I don't know what to say. You have saved my business. Well, I couldn't very well see you closed down. What would these two do? And on the house, a special pint of the beer no, each. Now, Anish, you know we don't want any lager. We've been through this before. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. This is Alison's beer. I have mounted the special pump on the bar in honour of my favourite lady. Three pints of the Tandoor. Oh, oh. Cheers, everyone. Oh, cheers. cheers. Oh, oh. Now, I have one more surprise for you. Wait, I will fetch it. Oh, brilliant. You know, it's great that you gave all the prize money to Anish, Alison. Oh, oh, you two would have done the same, wouldn't you? Uh, what? Hmm? Given the money to Anish, if you'd won the competition. Oh, oh yes, yeah, 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 of yeah. course. <laughs> <laughs> For the lady, I have prepared the vegetarian specials. Oh, Anish, you didn't need to. What is it? Tandoori salad. Gosh, you've managed to roast a lettuce. <laughs> Look, right, um, I've apologised to you uh, a thousand times, yeah? I'm, uh... I'm sorry I made lager. I I'm sorry. What, what more do you want? Ah, Woods. When will your kind learn? When the great beer wars are finally over. It will be ale that conquers. What are you all about, you bearded weirdo? In the meantime, we shall see who is the real man. Release the geese! What? <laughs> what? what? No! 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 Double science of us to scream and bar Justin Edwards and Ben Will Bond. Then players were Margaret Cabon Smith, Raza Jaffrey, Rebecca Front, Gus Brown, Justin Edwards, and Ben Will Bond. Then a producing man was Adam Bromley.
Right, my turn. Right. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Vegetable. Aubergine. Yes. How did you know? <laughs> well, well, you always go for that. Well, right. Well, I'll go again then. Right. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Animal. Horse. Yes. <laughs> That's spot on once again. Oh, they're always the first thing that pops into my mind. Uh, okay, your, your turn, Kenneth. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Animal. Rupert Everett. No. <laughs> Gosh, you've wrong-footed me there. Ah, yeah. uh, male or female? Male. Elton John? Yes, the uh, <laughs> rocket man, as ever. Uh, I don't know why they call it 20 questions, Kenneth. We never get past three. Mm. Oh. Ow. Crap. Time for lessons. Uh, Tart for lunch? Oh, naturally, Harla. Uh, I'll probably beat you there. Get the second year lot to copy a job lot of equations off the board and I'll nick off early. Double Science by Ben Wilbond and Justin Edwards. So, if you just remember my mnemonic, and it's a bit silly, but that's what makes it fun, then you can memorise the whole periodic table. <laughs> he, he, very funny, hydrogen, helium. <laughs> Liebeb, the little baby, lithium, beryllium. Knopfni is sitting on Mark Knopfler's knee. <laughs> K, potassium, N, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon. Who's Mark Knopfler, miss? He's a pop singer. I've never heard of him. Is he from the 60s? Can't we just take a copy of the periodic table into an exam room anyway? Well, uh, yes. Well, maybe we'll come back to that next time. Now, I was amazed that so many of you want to come on the trip to the wind farm in Cumbria. That really is very, very oh, encouraging. Wouldn't miss it for the world, miss. I think it's important that we, as the future generation of scientists, have a clear understanding of sustainable energy. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, that's just fantastic, Donna. Good on you. Good on you all. Will Jacko and Pitterbread be coming, miss? If you mean Dr Jackson and Dr Farley Pittman, then no, they weren't keen. Pittman's already got a wind farm going on in his trousers anyway, miss. <laughs> Don't be unkind. I've asked Mr Woods if he would like to come along. Ooh. Ooh. No, no, not that. It's very good of him to give up his weekend and drive the minibus. We'll be staying at the youth hostel on Friday and I'm proposing we leave a little earlier than originally planned so as to avoid the motorway traffic. So I've cancelled afternoon physics with Dr Jackson. Oh, yes. yes. Get in. And we'll set off at three. Any questions? Oh, yes. Um, will you and Mr Woods be sharing a room, miss? Mm. Uh, not that. That's not what it is. Uh, that is lunchtime. Did you get them? Oh, yeah. Figs have sorted it all out. Here we are. 20 full passes to the Kendall Mint All-Nighter. Nice one, Donna. Can't believe you got the tickets. They're like gold dust. It's like the best festival this year. Yeah, I know. How are we going to get away from that stand and Loverboy Woods, though? I've got it all planned. It's four miles from the youth hostel. We can sneak out and do the Friday all-nighter, sleepwalk our way through the wind farm bullshit, and crash out on the minibus home. And I have been busy in the labs making sure we have enough supplies for the weekend. Yeah, and let's get a big bag of drugs as well. That's what I meant. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, OK, gentlemen. You ready to order now? Uh, uh, yeah, not well, quite yet, no, least, actually. We're having a little set two about what is well, the, the best starter. Well, samosa mean, yes. or the onion bhaji. Absolutely. And, and I have to the, tell you, Kenneth, yeah. that the samosa is best. I mean, well, you have mm. all the variety in there. I mean, you can have a meat one or a vegetable one. The onion bhaji, well, there's just an onion. Yeah. You argued yourself into a corner there, Colin, because an onion counts as one of your five a day, and I eat at least five bhajis a day, QED. <laughs> but the samosa is meat stroke vegetable in a deep-fried pastry pillow. Yeah. I mean, what's not to like? No, I'm not arguing with you now, Colin. I'm not arguing with you now. Yes, but the samosa no, is... No, it's All that's good. Ah, the Dr. Hutton. Spice to see you, to see you. Um, spice. Spice, yes. <laughs> They are over there at their usual tables. Thank you, Anish. I thought I'd find you two in here. Oh, Alison, hello there. Yeah. Now, um, which do you think is the best starter, samosa or onion bhaji? What are you talking about? Just say which one. What was the question? Uh, bhaji or samosa? Um, bhaji? Yeah, in your face, Jackson. Oh, <laughs> now I've completely forgotten what I came in for. Oh, perhaps, Dr Hinton, you were looking for that tasty lunch buffet? Uh, no, no, thank you, Anish. That's very kind. One little soup, perhaps? No, I'm fine, thank you, Anish. I could fry it up for you. <laughs> fry soup. Yeah, the man is a wizard, Alison. <laughs> yes. 
You can call it uh, itself. Straw. <laughs> All of you stop talking. Right. We're leaving for Kendall earlier on Friday, so I've cancelled your double physics lesson in the afternoon, Colin. Oh, yes, get in! Oh, that, is, <laughs> that is great news. It means we can have lunch here and then play on through to the evening. Ah, double curry. Curry, curry. Yeah. <laughs> well, Danny and I will be staying with the students at the Brightside Youth uh, Hostel. Uh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Woods is going. Yes, he's driving the minibus. Right, well, I've always wanted to see a wind farm and I love Kendall, so I'm coming. And Kenneth's coming too. What? But no, curry, curry, Colin. I'm, I'm afraid the minibus is full. Yeah, well, that's fine, because we'll drive behind you and, and follow you up there. Yes, please. What? what? But no, I... I think it's great that you want to come and support the field trip. It'll be good for the students to see you both interested for a change. Yeah, well, of course we're interested. <laughs> I mean, I've always loved wind farms, you know. Yeah. Massive windmills there, in a, in a farm. Um, <laughs> farming, wind, I suppose, for years. That's great. I'll see you back at college. Bye, Anish. Yeah, bye, lettuce, potatoes. <laughs> she never buys nothing. <laughs> right, Colin, what have you done? Well, I didn't know that Woods was going, and now that he is, I don't want him loitering around Allison all on his own. Oh, please, Kenneth, we have to go. Colin, I don't want to spend my weekend traipsing around a, a bloody wind farm with Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen and that woman. Oh, go on, Kenneth. Right, how about this? If we go, then you can watch Spartacus at every film club for a month. <laughs> uh, and uh, we can watch that one where Dustin Hoffman wears a dress, the one that I don't understand. Well, all right, well, how, how will we even, Tootsie, how will we even get there? Well, we can go in your car. Well, you know that Mary took the Passat when she left. I, I get angry when I drive all these... Morons on the road nowadays. Oh, I get the mist. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, it's okay, okay, gentlemen. You can borrow my car for a weekend. Oh, that's brilliant, Anish. Uh, you'll, you'll need it to make your deliveries. No. With you two away, I won't be making any. <laughs> weekend off. Get in it. Uh. <laughs> oh, I'm Colin Jackson. Yes, for real, Colin Jackson. All the other Colin Jacksons are just imitating. I, uh, oh. All right, Bunce and Bunce. Is Ali Boo around? Uh, no, Woods. Dr. Hatton is not available. What's this you're making? A voice box for your teddy bear? Don't be ridiculous, Woods. This is an important scientific project. And anyway, Mr. Chops doesn't need to speak. It's all in the eyes with him. <laughs> Exactamont, what is important about science? Hardly gives you the life skills and self-confidence of the drama. Well, you're wrong, actually. It is useful, because I'm souping up this sat-nav that I bought off the eBay's to help Kenneth drive up to Cumbia. Yeah, he gets the mist, you see. What? No, 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 you're not supposed to be coming. Oh, really? Well, the last time I looked, Kenneth and me are both legitimate members of the science department teaching staff, so we have every right to be there. Listen up, Peter Rabbit. This weekend is about me and Alison, yeah? Having a little quality time, get it? So I don't want you and Chewbacca poking your nerdy noses in. <laughs> Comprende, amigo? Uh, if by Chewbacca you mean Kenneth, then that's hardly an insult, as Wookiees are very strong and intelligent. So, <laughs> you lose, Woods. No, I mean he looks like an old English sheepdog that lives in a drain. I'm serious, Spaxon. Let me and the lady alone, all right? Well, I'd like to see you make a sat-nav. Uh, you'd probably have to make it from a, a script and, and some tights and, and, and some mime, and it would be rubbish. And, and oh, he's gone. <laughs> Oh, this is brilliant, Kenneth. It's like a proper convoy. It's like Smokey and the Bandit. Yeah. Get out of the road, Grandpa. Yeah. yeah, you want some of that? You're getting the horn, then. Hey? Yeah, get some glasses, you fat hippie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I, I might just phone Alison again. Uh, uh, Broadsword calling Danny Boy. Hello, Colin. Yeah, I was just saying to Kenneth that driving along in convoy is like that film, Smokey and the Bandit, Alison. Colin, you don't have to phone me every three minutes. My battery's low and I'm trying to save it. Yeah, Roger that, Danny boy. This is Broadsword signing off. Oh, this is ace, isn't it, Kenneth? Yeah, go. How much further? Get off my backside, you tramp. Who taught you to drive? James Dean? Yeah, go on, have it. Kenneth, Kenneth, uh, why didn't I fire up the sat-nav? It might help calm you down. Yeah. I think you might be impressed. I've pimped it. Oh. Welcome, Colin and Kenneth, to the road leopard. Oh. Uh, just put our coordinates in there. Yes, there we go. Carry straight on, Colin Jackson. 
no relation. Yeah, well, we know he's... <laughs> We're following a minibus up the M6. It's straight on for 400 miles. Carry straight on, no. Colin Jackson. No relation. Uh, it's great, though, Kenneth, because it's not that annoying woman's voice. I've recorded my own voice. Yes, Carry please. straight on, Colin Jackson. Get your no turn it off! Go on. Keep, no, keep, no, keep, keep. keep. Yeah. Don't hit it, Kenneth. It's quite sensitive. Yeah. I'm sorry, Colin. You know, I have to concentrate when I'm driving. Uh. <sighs> Kenneth? Yes? I think I might need to stop at the next service. Oh, not again. What is it now? I've got to drop the kids off at the pool. Oh, God. <laughs> well, you better call Hatton and Woods. Right. Yeah. It's, it's ringing, yes. What is it now, Colin? Oh, um, uh, this is Broadsword, requesting an emergency stop at the next services. We stopped half an hour ago, Colin. Yeah, well, it's, 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 it's quite urgent, Alison. Um, I'm afraid there's a, there's a mole at the counter. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, uh, I've got the curious turtle. <laughs> what? I don't understand. There's a monkey in the lift. What? <laughs> the bear wants to go shopping. Coat. I need a poo! Oh, God. <laughs> right, we'll turn off at the next one we see. Right. Oh. So, so. Oh. I tell you what, Kenneth, Anisha's car smells wonderful, doesn't it? Just like the tar. Yeah, you know? yeah. Oh. Ah, all the curries of the rainbow. Oh. <laughs> hey, shall I see what's in his tape machine? A bit of music might calm you down a bit. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh that's better. It's like, like being at home again. Uh, well, I think I know this one. Isn't this great? I used to love youth hosteling when I was younger. Self-sufficient, away from home. It's such fun. Now, why don't we all settle in and then a night of games? I think I saw a Cluedo set in the recreation room. Actually, miss... I think I might have an early night. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Oh... It's only eight. Uh, yeah, but we really want to be well rested and up early for the wind farm. Yeah, yeah well, can't wait to see that. Oh, that's very keen. Well done all. Night, night, sweet dreams. Yeah, night. Oh, they really are a very dedicated group. So, what should we do? Well, I don't know about you guys, but I spotted a pub down the road. Yep, ahead of you there, Woods. It's called the Badger Free House. Four point five stars in the camera pub guide. A splendid array of ales. Oh, that would be skill. Skilbo Baggins. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's all go and have some drinks. Yeah, there they've got Meaton's Bell and Old Orem on draft. You know, we could really tie one on. Uh, get in amongst it. Ale skirmish. Achtung, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> beer grenade coming in. Yeah, watch out. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Great idea. Well, you monkeys go and drink some gravy, and Alison and I will rest a right issy. Oh, if you don't mind missing a trip out with the boys, Danny. No, no. Maybe I could uh, rustle up a little dinner a deux, Alison. That would be delightful. Right, well, I'll stay as well. Jackson, I warned you. Yeah, well, but come on, they've got Glover's Fury on tap at the Badger. You can't miss that, Colin. No, 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 no. You go ahead, Kenneth. I'll stay here with Alison and Danny and the three of us. Or we'll have a dinner we do. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Jacko. I'm not being funny, but why don't you just go down the pub with Hagrid and leave me and Alison alone for once? <laughs> Because, Woods, maybe Alison doesn't want to be left alone with you and your beef Wellington. No, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I've had no complaints in the past. Oh. oh, yeah. You think you're so clever, don't you? When actually all you're doing is making a massive sausage roll and putting some vegetables around it. <laughs> <laughs> well, what dessert are you making that's so impressive? I've made it already, and it's a surprise, actually, Woods. Oh, right. Is the surprise that it's really, really crap? <laughs> Why do you have to be such a flipping wally all the time? <laughs> This is nice, being cooked for by two gentlemen. What's on the menu? Uh, well, mine's just here, and I've just made it, thank you. Ooh, that looks interesting, Colin. What is it? Upside-down cake. <laughs> That's just a cake you turn upside down. <laughs> no, it's not, actually, Woods. I, I made it earlier. No, 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 you bought it earlier at the service station, and then you turned it upside down. Well, I think it looks delicious, Colin. Uh, uh, so, so put that in your pipe and smoke it, Marco Pierre shite. Please. And what have you made, Danny? Ah, well, je vous présente uh, Boeuf Wellington with sweet potatoes nestling on a mattress of distressed cabbage. 
Oh, well, I'm vegetarian, Danny, so... Oh, boo-hoo. So she can't eat your silly Wellington boot after all. She can only eat the vegetables, and you can't claim that you made those because they were made in Earth by Mother Nature. So up yours, Woods. You didn't even make your cake. Well, at least I turned it upside down. Love 15, Woods. All here? Yeah. Yeah. So the planet... What's that noise? I am what I am. Oh, I God. Am my own special creation. It's my life. I want to have a little pride in my oh, life. Crap. Not it's Peter Bread. Is he dancing? Ah, good evening. Oh, I'm not drunk. Um, <laughs> sir, why are you wearing your trousers as a scarf, sir? A man's got to keep his neck warm. Where, where are you all off to? Uh, nowhere, sir. We're just having some fresh air. What, all of you? Yeah, 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 just some fresh air. Yeah, all right, well, good work. Right, you are. Good night. Here, home every night, my holiday. Thank God. Right, all aboard the minibus. We're driving there. Yeah, got hold of a spare key. We'll be back at the crack of dawn. They'll never know we went anywhere. And what about Farley Pittman? Well, I don't think he'll be remembering much of that exchange, but I took the opportunity of filming it on the mobile in case I need to shut him up. This is nice, isn't it? It's just how I remember hosteling in my youth. Your turn, Colin. Right. <clears throat> I suspect Colonel Mustard in the bedroom with a gun. Oh, no. Right. Uh, I suspect Colin Jackson in the kitchen with a cake that he's just turned upside down. <laughs> oh, yes. Very good, Woods. Well, I suspect Danny Woods in the toilet looking like a ruddy burke. Oh, honestly, you two. Will you please stop bickering? I just want to have a nice, relaxing time by the fire. Right, well, I suspect Colin Jackson in the living room with all the other virgins. Danny! <laughs> right! That's ruddy it, Woods. I've had about enough of this. You're there all the time with your face on ponytail, and, and you've always got the smart comment, and it's not fair, and, and, and maybe just because a man chooses to wear sandals and shorts does not mean that he's never done it with a girl, because maybe he hasn't, and well, so you don't know that, and it's not your beeswax, please. Ooh! <laughs> had a bit of a nerve there. Such a little boy, Jackson. Colin, please sit down. For why, I won't sit down. I will leave you two here to have your dinnery do because you obviously want that and, and thank you. <laughs> right. Now that all the children have gone to bed, perhaps we could have a glass of wine. No, Danny. I'm going to bed too. I'm fed up with you both. Great. Just great. <laughs> Hey, young man, I don't need to feel down. I said, young man, pick yourself off the ground. You can go out to the YMCA. They will help. What are you doing? Do the moves, Colin. Yeah. No, no, YMCA. It's fun to stay at the Why? You wake everyone up. What? what are you doing? Oh, Colin, I just got back from the Badger. You should have seen the array of ales he had there. It's like Valhalla, but with beer. <laughs> I had to give her the signal. I got do, yeah, Kenneth. Push pineapple, Colin. Yeah. I'm starving, but look, it's fine. I'm frying up this giant sausage roll I've found. <laughs> look, look at the size of it. It's massive. Just please be careful there, Kenneth. Yeah. I don't want to wake up Alison. She's in a right mood. Woods was being a plonker and I threw a bit of an epi and now Alison's really cross with me. Yeah, I, I can go and sort out Woods now. It's amazing what you can do to a man in his sleep. <laughs> Kenneth. <laughs> Kenneth, please. Be careful with that pan. The, the gas is up quite high. Your trousers, Yeah, it's please. fine. I'll be absolute. Don't you no, just, wait, wait, oh, no, oh, God! Oh, God, 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 God. Please, please. Come on, come on. Out! Everybody out! Danny, Colin, Kenneth, all present. Where are the students? Oh, no, they could be on fire. I oh, checked the dorms. They're not there. Oh, my God. Where's the minibus? What is happening? Ah, uh, they must have been abducted. Aliens! What are we going to do? <laughs> well, I, I, you know, I'm sure they'll come back. I mean, they're teenagers. They'll get hungry. Great! <laughs> what if not all of them come back? What then? Well, if we only lost three, that would mean the trip was, um, 80% successful. No, 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 no. They'd focus on the ones that didn't make it. You know how it works. Oh, did your, did your spidey sense tell you that, Jackson? <laughs> Woods, these Spider-Man pyjamas are surprisingly comfortable, actually. <laughs> Anyway, their tongue's better than your stupid silky dressing gown. It's called a kimono. Do shut up, you two! 
We've got to try and find the students. Yeah, it's fine. They've just gone for a stroll. They've got some air. Come on, I'll get them. Get in the car. I'll drive. Kenneth, you're drunk. And in the morning, madam, you will be sober. <laughs> Not. Danny, you drive. Where are your trousers, Kenneth? Oh, they caught fire, Alison. Yeah. What? What is that smell? Uh, Madras, Boona, uh. Fall, Tika. Uh, just check the glove box. Th- oh, bingo, emergency nans. Brotherhood <laughs> uh, of man. Open the ashtray, Colin. I filled it with mango chutney for just such a crisis. Not now, Kenneth. <laughs> right, I'll set a course to the nearest town on my sat nav. Here we go. Right. Welcome, Colin and Kenneth, to the road, Leopard. Come on. Oh, brilliant. Well, at least we won't get lost. Turn right, Colin Jackson, no relation. <laughs> Where is this thing taking us? Oklahoma. Oh, come on, we'll sing along. Come on, can't sing along. Hey, oh. Turn left, Colin Jackson, no relation. Oh, God, it is pitch black out here. You sure we're going the right way? Turn left, Colin Jackson, no relation. I'll try to phone Donna. She's the most sensible one. Oh, brilliant. No signal. Turn left, Colin Jackson. No relation. Oh, oh God. I think we're in a field. Hang on. Oh, 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 oh. Colin Jackson. No, no, there's a cow. Oh, 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 God. What was that? Danny, be careful. Oh, oh, Everyone out. Get out. Oh, no. Danny. Oh, Why did you drive us into that lake? Because Jackson's twat now. I've told me to. Destination, Colin Jackson. No oh. relation. Oh. Brilliant. Just brilliant. I don't understand. It was working before. You really are useless, Colin. It is pitch black. I can barely see in front of my face. I'm soaking and freezing. This is serious. We have to get help. Right. I've got a signal at last. Does anyone have Donna's number? Uh, No. Danny? No, no, no. My phone's in the minibus. Right. I'll call your phone, Danny. Maybe someone will answer it. Oh, I'm nearly all out of battery. Colin, have you got your phone? Oh, ruddy hell. I've just run out of credits. Does Kenneth have a mobile? Uh, no, he doesn't believe in them. Oh, God, this is awful. Where is Kenneth? Two, four, six, eight, nine, nine, nine. <laughs> now we really are stuffed. Why is it, Colin, that everything you do, what? everything you touch, just yeah. you're bloody useless? Your stupid sat nav, your stupid what? phone. Why do you still have a pay-as-you-go phone? I'm really sorry, Alison, you know, I... I, I try my best, I really do, and I'm really sorry there. Hmm. Go and find Kenneth. Danny and I will try to find the road. I can't believe this! <laughs> this is well good! Yeah, we've got another four hours, I reckon, and we'll be back by six. You sure they won't miss us? Oh, just relax, it'll be fine. Kenneth? Kenneth, where are you? I'm here, here, Colin. Oh, Kenneth, I've been looking for you for about an hour. Oh, goodness, look at this. Hey, you've made a bivouac and there's a massive stack of fire. This is amazing. Yeah, well, you know, I learned a thing or two from the army, Colin. Uh, well, I didn't know you were in the army, Kenneth. No, well, I wasn't technically in the army, Colin. I just used to uh, hang around the barracks. Anyway, there's some... <laughs> there's still a few scraps of my trousers here. Should make a... A good fire lighter. I think it must be the amount of ghee that soaked into them over the years. All right. All right, stand back. Oh, oh, Kenneth. Oh, I don't know what to do. Alison has gone off with woods and she thinks I'm useless. Well, the, the man's an ass, Colin, and, 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 and you're not an ass. So, so there it is. Oh. Well, thank you, Kenneth. Well, yeah. Colin? Kenneth? Oh, over here. Oh, I'm, I'm freezing. I'm, uh, this is amazing. Please, just uh, oh, let me get by the fire. I'm so cold. Yeah, well, uh, well, it was all Colin. What? He, he built the fire and, and the bivouac and everything. No, I didn't. Uh, oh, yes. Yes, that's right. Uh, yes, I did, yes. <laughs> it's wonderful, Colin. Where did you learn to do all this? Oh, well, you know, uh, I'm a huge fan of Roy Mears. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ray Mears, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry I called you useless, Colin. Well, you know, that's okay. Uh, It's just everything got a bit panicky back there. I take it you didn't find the road? Oh, it's so dark we couldn't find anything. Then Danny trod on a cow pat and made rather a song and dance. Look, it went went up my leg and everywhere. It's it's germs. I'm I'm so cold. I hate the outdoors. Oh, stop complaining, Danny. Oh, who's the little boy now, Woods? My kimono is wet and I'm cold, Jackson. (laughs) You should take a leaf out of Colin's book, Danny. You know, you should stick with me, Alison. We could be stuck out here for days. No, I can definitely hear the M6, Colin. I think if we just wait until dawn, we'll be fine. 
Whoa! Must have hit a, hit a trouser flashpoint there. <laughs> Probably the gasset. Miss? Miss! Uh, no, officer, I lost them. Don't put me in prison. Miss! Are you all right? Huh? Oh, Donna. What's... Why are you all outside, miss? Oh, uh, we, um, we got lost and had to camp out. What time is it? It's 6am, miss. Morning, Dr. Jackson. Oh, oh, it's, um... Yeah, oh. it, yeah it's morning. Nice pyjamas. Uh, oh, oh, thank you, Donna, Spider-Man. <laughs> Why? Why is Mr. Woods cuddling that? Log. Oh, um, that's not a log. Uh... <laughs> oh, listen, Nelly Boopa, just hold me tight a bit. Uh... Mm. Oh, 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 God, oh, Pippity's, oh, oh, I thought, I thought you were Alison. Oh, God, where, God. where, where, where am I? Oh, oh, Lord. Um, Danny, your kimono has opened up. <laughs> Woods, why are you wearing women's pants? <laughs> It's called a thong. Uh... Where were you, Donna? What happened? Oh, um, well, we woke up in the night and we thought we smelt a fire, so I thought it might be best to move the minibus away to a safe distance. And then when we got back, you were gone. So we thought you must have all gone for a walk or something. And then we went back to bed and then, and then we just come out to find you. We were worried sick. I don't know that taking the minibus without asking was entirely the right thing to do. I mean, I'll have to tell the college what's happened. It's, it's quite a serious matter, Donna. Oh, uh, absolutely, miss. And, and I'll give them a full account as well. Of course. Well, that's fine. And you should do that. Yeah, I can tell them how I discovered you all snuggled up in a mud pit. Just 15 metres from the youth hostel with a, <laughs> with a grown man in a Spider-Man pyjamas and a man in a thong cuddling another trouserless member of Star. <laughs> yes, we can talk about this when we get back to college. Yeah, absolutely, miss. Or we don't have to talk about it. Well, there is always that. Uh, not talking about it. Not even mentioning it. Ever again. No. No. <laughs> right, well, we're all up early. We could get to the wind farm in good time. What? Oh, well, well, we could go to the wind well, farm. But, but really, we don't yeah. really have to no. go. Yeah, we're all tired. Really oh. tired. And it is, I suppose, just some wind, yeah. after yeah. all. No, it's, it's not like you can see it. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, let's give it a miss. <laughs> do just that. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's yeah, do that. Well, yeah, probably yeah. just miss, miss, miss out on that. Should we go back to the hostel? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I could do yeah. it a full English, get a nice fry-up going. No, 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 oh, no, God, no. no. Thank you. Young man. There's a place you can go, I said, young man. Double Science was written by Justin Edwards and Ben Wilbong. It starred Margaret Caborn Smith, Rosa Jaffrey, Rebecca Front, Justin Edwards, and Ben Wilbong. The producer was Adam Bromley. <laughs> Oh, Kenneth, good morning to you there. You're in early. Yeah, well, I don't have far to come, Colin, just down the stairs. Yes, I suppose that is a benefit of sleeping in the workplace. Yeah. You look slightly different today, sort of new. Well, I've uh, just had a sink bath. <laughs> What's that? Well, it's kind of how birds uh, clean themselves. I've discovered that if you sit in a sink, you can achieve a surprisingly effective all-body wash. You know, I, can, <laughs> I can operate the soap dispenser with my back. <laughs> Well, it's better for the environment as well, I suppose. Well, everyone's a winner. Come right. <laughs> now, to business. Yes, yes, yes. I hereby call the weekly AGM of Forrester's Film Club to order. Order! <clears throat> right. Roll call. Chairman and Treasurer Kenneth Folly Pittman. Present. Head of Refreshments and Remote Control Device Colin Jackson. No relation. <laughs> Present. <laughs> uh, listing of films watched at last film club. Uh, Cocktail and Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. <laughs> Yes, um, Head of Refreshments and Remote Control Device Colin Jackson, no relation, would like to state that he was not entirely satisfied with those films. Yeah, well, you know, the, the, uh, the Chairman and Treasurer is very sorry about that, Colin, but they, they didn't have Lethal Weapon 2, surprisingly. Yeah, well, well, no matter, Kenneth. I mean, I could always pop to the DVD shop this week. Well, no, Colin, I am the Treasurer, so it should be my job. Yes, well, it just promise me that you'll ask for Lethal Weapon 2 this time. It's the one with Patsy Kensett in it, and I'm very keen on her, as you know. And she plays a South African, even though you think her accent is probably Welsh. Yeah. <laughs> Double Science by Ben Wilbond and 
Justin Edwards. That's a fancy car you got there, Mr Woods. Ah, oh, mercy Baku, Donna. Morning, Danny. Hello, Donna. Oh, gosh, what a sporty car. Nah, man's gotta have wheels, miss. Put my pedal to the metal and I can touch a sweet ton. That sounds very good, I think. How's the talk, sir? Don't you have a lesson to go to, Donna? Nope. Right. Um, I wondered if you uh, fancied a little uh, spin roller same weekend, Alison. Hit Route 66 and grind the herbs. Sorry, grind herbs? <laughs> <laughs> On the wheels! It doesn't matter. Look, would you like to come for a drive this weekend? But it's the bonfire party. Uh, perhaps Miss Hatton isn't interested in your little party, Donna. It's wicked, Miss. Dr. Farley P and Dr. Jackson are going to put on this awesome display. Yeah, well, I don't have much time for fireworks. You wouldn't be jealous of the fireworks display, then? <laughs> jealous? No, no, I'm not. They are rather good fun, Danny. Yeah, expensive fun. And you might want to ask Colander and Kendo exactly where the money comes from. Really? Reckon this car must have set you back a few grand, eh, sir? Oh, you can't put a price on class, Donna. <laughs> on looking sportif. Quite right, sir. And in that car, you look every inch le cock sporty. Right. Oh, I thought we could start with a series of tiger bombs. Yeah, well, then we release the dragon fire. Whoosh! Spills over the top of the trestle at the front, then ignites the Catherine wheel. yippee ki Oh, that is brilliant. I won't expect that. I can hear the oohs and ahs right now. Yeah, well, uh. we'll just have to make sure nobody smokes by the front again. I don't want a repeat of last year with that female vicar. Uh, I, I don't... <laughs> Think she'll come again, you know. Fireworks must be pretty dull now she's blind. <laughs> Good morning. Now, I've got some important questions for you. Oh, wait, something's different. Kenneth's had a bird bath. Yeah, not now, Colin. <laughs> no. You're at the computer. Oh, yes. Oh, me and Kenneth have decided to get wired. Yeah, yeah. this broadband thing is astonishing. I mean, it just takes a second for a picture to download. I'm led to believe. I haven't looked at anything. <laughs> well, I'm very pleased that you're finally embracing new technology, but I must insist that the equipment is only used for work purposes, Colin. Ah, oh, well, we're just about to order the fireworks online, Alison. Yeah. Ah, that's just what I wanted to talk to you about. Oh, last year was absolutely skill. It was skill toughnel. Yeah, it was, it was so loud that I went deaf for a week. Yeah, the RAF scrambled a tornado. Who pays for these fireworks? Uh, Oh, well, the, um, we, well, we, we do. Well, do. well, um, well, well yeah, you know, Dr. Oates uh, just included it in the annual budget for the department. I mean, it's not that much. And so, who wants some tea? I'll make some tea over here and we just stop talking about it. How much? Well, a couple of hundred pounds. Well, some hundreds. Well, yeah, so, ten hundred yeah. or so. A thousand pounds? Well, some thousand. Well, give or take, you know. Yeah, well, ten or so. Well, ten thousand ish, I would say. Well, probably near, be well, near, around uh, that, yeah, I suppose. About, and, um, I mean, stop it! How much? £22,000. <laughs> oh, my God! Well, it'll be slightly less this year if we order online. Yeah, we can maybe knock 50 quid off that. Yeah. <laughs> this has got to stop. It's an appalling misuse of college funds. Yeah, but everyone loves it. Yeah, oh, don't take the fireworks away, woman. It's all I've got left. No. That's my final word. <laughs> no usual table, Dr. Kenneth? Yeah, yeah. What's this? Oh, well, the Chinese next door is closing down. I got loads of the free stuff. One of these for each table. Oh, right. what, what, what use is it? Well, you can spin your food around the table like so. You see? I'm putting poppadoms here and the pickles here. Come on, give us a twirl, Anthea. Oh. What is it? Whoa, whoa. Gosh, yeah, yeah. The mechanism is fully smooth. This Susan, she is not so lazy, eh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> why, why would I want to spin my curry around the table? I don't know. Maybe you are sharing it? Not bloody likely. <laughs> ah, hello, Dr. Jackson. Oh, look at this poster. Look, they're all over college. Yes. Celebrate bonfire night with a dramatic performance of Danny Wood's November the Fifth Tale, Up Goes Gordon. Ugh. In which mime, music and puppetry combine to tell the story of social worker Gary Fawkes, who seeks to overthrow the evil Tsar Gordon Brown... <laughs> Uh, he's taking over our night, Kenneth. I mean, first we can't do the fireworks, and now he's doing a stupid play. Ruddy hell. He's always there with his ruddy sports car and his ponytail, and he spoils it all. It's not fair. It's just not fair. We can have our own bonfire party, Colin. Let them all go and watch Woods knobbing about on stage if they want. But where will we get the fireworks, Kenneth? We're going to make our own. Blimey. That sounds a bit tricky. Well, Colin, you've got a PhD in chemistry. It shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> yes. That's really 
talk to you about that one day. <laughs> Here we are, doctors. Two lamb madras and just for you, chopsticks. <laughs> So, um, if you could all please just put your Bunsen burners back in the cupboards and make sure you replace all the test tubes there. I don't, right, yes, uh, please, put the Bunsen, go away, please. Look, they're still all lit there. Who, who lit the gas tap? Just fine, right, it, it's easy if I do it, thank you. Right, right, uh, see you tomorrow, thank you, right, thank you. Do you need a hand, sir? Ah, oh, Donna, that's very kind of you, yes. I heard about bonfire night getting cancelled. Yes. Dr. Hatton threw a Benny when she found out how much it all cost. I don't suppose you've asked her out for a drink yet? Oh, I can't see the point, Donna. I mean, I can't compete with Mr. Woods and his flash sports car and his fancy clothes. Of course you can. Do you have a car? Yes, I haven't passed my test yet, Donna. I nearly did last time, though. Even the examiner said that the probability of hitting a heron on a roundabout was really quite low. <laughs> uh, I've got a bike. I could always give her a backy to the shops or something. <laughs> uh, not the Londis, though. It's up a hill. Yeah, all right. Let's forget the car. But fancy clothes. Perhaps if you changed your wardrobe, you might feel a bit braver about asking Dr. Hatton out. But what's wrong with my clothes? No, nothing. It's just... It's just not many men your age wear shorts all year round. <laughs> and sandals with socks. Just very... Last year. Oh, right. Yeah. Plus, when you wear a lab coat, it looks like you've got nothing on underneath. <laughs> what, what, what do you suggest? Well, you could wear something more suave. Yes, I like the sound of that. Maybe a fancy suit. That would be Skilly Wonka. Yeah, that's more like it. Don't say Skilly Wonka, sir. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> ah, bonjour, no. Oh, if it isn't little and large. I didn't know you two guys were still gigging. Yeah, Woods. Uh, I just came in to see if Ali Boobar was in the Casbah. What? No, no, she's teaching. What are you guys doing? Trying to build a time machine so you can go back to the 80s and find your self-respect? Yeah, well, at least I didn't flush my self-respect down the toilet when I last went there. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, if you see Alison, tell her I just popped by. Sorry to hear that your little boy's firework party got cancelled. I knew that Alison would put a stop to it when she found out how the funding worked. What? what? Well, couldn't see all that college money going to waste on fireworks. It's drama that people want. River that she loses. Oh, kiss it, Woods. Kiss what? It. <laughs> what? Yeah, you know. <laughs> Right, oh, Woods has done it now. Oh, he's such a wang. Yeah. yeah, you know what? We're not going to have fireworks, Colin. What? We've well, got to have them. No, we're going to have a firework. But I don't understand. We're going to put everything we've made here, we're going to put it into one massive rocket, and we're going to fire it off during Woods' play. Yeah, that'll learn him. Oh, skilly Elliot. Yeah, we're going <laughs> we're gonna to need some pretty impressive explosives there. Yeah, well, I'll get right on it, Kenneth. I can order everything online. Yeah. Yeah, hey, and we should name the rocket. Yeah, good idea. What's the, uh, what's the scariest thing you can think of? Gavin Esler. Well, <laughs> he, he's not that scary. With a knife? Yeah, still. Yeah. Oh, I have this nightmare where he's got a knife, and he's not had much sleep or any food for a few days, and he's coming to get me through the forest. Yeah, you, you really shouldn't eat cheese when you watch news tonight. <laughs> Next week. Why the water there? Don't run. Let me give you a hand mopping up, miss. Oh, thanks, Donna. That's very kind. I think you should have made the parabolic reflector with rubber tubing, miss. That's a good point, Donna. I may have made a slight error there. While I've got you here, I would like to ask you something. Oh, far away. I had a rather alarming phone call from someone quite high up in the security forces, tracing subversive internet activity in this department. This is nothing to do with the ticketing on the Glastonbury Festival website, is it? No. Oh, right, forget I mentioned it. Nothing there. <laughs> Someone has been ordering restricted chemicals, making inquiries about fertiliser, precise measurements for fuses and so on. Why would I know anything about this? Well, Donna, you are the most computer literate of our students and your knowledge of chemistry is quite advanced. Yeah, so if I'd ordered that stuff off the internet, I'd have cleared my tracks. <laughs> yeah, perhaps it isn't you then. There'll be someone coming in to investigate, so if we could keep it between ourselves, Donna... Bombs are words, miss. What? <laughs> Joking. Ah, la belle mademoiselle Hatton. Comment allez-vous, etre? Hello, Danny. Um, un kilo de pommes. Ah, très bien. <laughs> <laughs> Signora. <laughs> ah, just wondering if you fancy taking a spin in the old sporting car up the reservoir after my show. Mm, the reservoir, eh, sir? Oh, I didn't see you there, Donna. 
I'm sure you've got to run along, s'il vous plaît. Mm, pas de problème. Au revoir, monsieur. Vous êtes plein de merde. Merci. <laughs> How's the show looking? Oh, well, pretty darn impressivo. If only that plastic socialist Brown and his toadies could see my lampooning, they'd have a few sleepless nights. Well, Ali, you fancy the reservoir? Great view, few salmon sarnies, bottle of poo. Bottle of what? Poo, shampoo, champagne, a glug of the old widow clicou. Oh, right. <laughs> I thought you meant a bottle of... Well, I, I didn't think you meant... I don't know that anyone would bottle it in the first place, or, or really how you get it in. Anyway, yes, I'd love to. Yeah, right. Screwdriver. Screwdriver. Yep. Soldering iron. Soldering iron. Yeah, bottle of Kempner's nut brown ale. Oh, yeah. Bottle of Kempner's nut brown ale. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Oh, there we go. I reckon he's pretty much all there. Oh, I can't wait to see Woods' face when we fire off Gavin Esler during his theatre nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> I've got the detonator on a 50 metre wire. We need to be anywhere near it, and no one will know. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, oh, right, shut, shut the collar. No, Cover no, up Gavin Esler. Don't no, say anything. Okay, Don't say anything. Okay. I'm very sorry. I am disabled. I will be in this toilet for some time. <laughs> I'm disabled too. And we're in here. And we're on the toilet. No, no, so shut, Colin, shut, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Please find alternative facilities. Okay. Donna! Oh, I nearly had a heart attack. Right. Yes? I'm just doing a little detective work, and I wondered if you knew anything about subversive internet activity within the science department. Oh, crap. Is this anything to do with pictures of Daniel Radcliffe? <laughs> no. Fine, fine. Forget, forget I said that. Nothing, nothing there. No, I don't suppose you'd know anything about procuring a number of illegal chemicals, detonators, fertiliser and so forth? Oh, it's probably all perfectly innocent. Yeah, probably just a passing farmer... Uh, wanting to fertilise his crops. ...with a gun. Oh. There is nothing innocent about someone buying hexamethylene tetramine nitrate from the internet. I don't have to tell you what happens if you then nitrate it and plasticise it, do I, Dr Jackson? Um, well, you might have to, actually. Yeah. <laughs> and then you have cyclotrimethylene trinitramine. And you know what that is? Is it salt? Um... Yeah, well, all right, yeah. All right, yeah, it was us who ordered it. You can't just order explosives off the internet. What have you done with it all? Aha! Uh -huh. What is that? Gavin Esler. Don't ask. <laughs> yeah, we're going to... Let him off during Woods' play. Show him what for. Well, be careful with it. Dr Hatton says someone's coming round the college to have a snoop around. Oh, it'll be fine hidden away in here. No one knows about this place. Oh, I suppose so. Oh, and Dr Jackson? Yes? You better work fast if you want to ask Dr Hatton out. Mr Woods is planning on taking her to the reservoir after his play. Oh, God! I've got, I've got to start dressing smart and looking cool if Woods is taking her up the reservoir. You know what that means? <laughs> well, I mean, people, people don't go up there to look at the reservoir, that's for sure. Uh, yeah. Everyone knows about it. That bit by the nature reserve, it's covered in Johnnies. Yeah, well... <laughs> and, and then there's that other bit by the woods behind the pedalos, because that's a, that's a different place I've heard about. <laughs> well, better get your skates on, Dr J. Are you sure that rocket won't go off in here, sir? Yeah, I'm quite sure. You wouldn't want to wake up and find Gavin Essler exploding in your face, would you? Well, yeah, no. Would you like a biscuit with your tea, Mr Whitaker? Uh, no, thank you, Dr Hatton. I make it a rule never to take biscuit while I work. Sugar is the enemy of clear reasoning. <laughs> yes, of course. It might take the biscuit if you were to have a biscuit. And then, I, I'm sorry, I don't know why I started that. Hmm. You seem a little nervous, Dr Hatton. Nothing to hide, I hope. Hide? Gosh, no. It's just not every day I have someone from MI5 in my office. Hmm. I believe you, of course, and yet at the same time I do not believe you at all. Working for the security services mean that I live in the world of bluff, intrigue, double bluff, and counter-intrigue, and at times counter-double bluff. Must be a busy life. And as such, I intend to maintain an undercover presence here as a student. <laughs> You should go undercover as a teacher. Uh, that is exactly what the terrorists would expect. It's a world of mirrors out there, a world of bluff and intrigue, double... I've been through that. The point is, it would stick out a mile, and they won't suspect a Secret Service agent of doing something so obvious as being a student. A uh, mature student? What? You do look a little older than most of them. I'll dye my moustache. <laughs> Maybe a wig. I'm not bald, I just have a rather high forehead. <laughs> it seems to go all the way over the back to your neck. 
Colin, Kenneth, there you are. Yeah. Alison, hello, hello to you there, hello. You both look a bit flustered, are you okay? Yeah. Yes, fine, yes, absolutely fine. We've just been painting Gavin. Colin! Uh, um, painting Gavin's fence, yes. uh, my neighbour, uh, Gavin. <laughs> Uh, Gavin Fox, we've been painting his fence because it's, uh, it's blue. green. Well, it's bl- bluey green. Well, it's purple, yeah. if you will. Yeah. So. This gentleman uh, has some rather alarming news. He's from MI5. What? Oh, the- no. oh God, this is serious. Oh, oh. Knackers. I mean, um, hello. Oh. Uh, my name is Roger Whittaker, no relation. Oh, right. Oh, comes. Um, well, I'm Colin Jackson, no relation. <laughs> yes. I have reason to believe that a terrorist cell may be operating in this college. Oh, well, um, you know, it's probably nothing serious. Au contraire, Jackson. Mm. If the culprits are found, they will face a lengthy prison sentence. Oh, bunnies can just stay calm, Colin. <laughs> Mr. Wishka is going to go undercover. I shall conduct a covert yet thorough search of the college and see if there's any evidence of the explosives. Uh, well, um, you won't find a thing in the disabled toilet. Oh, uh, God. What? 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 <laughs> What did you say? He, uh, um, he, he said it's, it's t- time we did our thing in the disabled toilet. <laughs> what toilet? Um, Gavin's. Yeah, Gavin's toilet. We're painting that as well. Because he's disabled. He's blind. Deaf. Blind. Drunk. Yes, he's blind. It counts as being disabled. Yes, so, so we're painting his toilet. Because he can't. So, so let's go and do that. Thank, thank you. you. Right yeah, now. Bye, bye. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Anish, Anish, Anish. 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 Gentlemen, <sighs> this is unexpected surprise. You like an early dinner, perhaps? I've got a few specials on. Cripsy duck ticker with the prawn cracker naan. No, no, no. <laughs> no uh, we, we need to hide something with you. What sort of thing? Well, it's just a thing we made. I mean, it's quite urgent. Yeah, it's sheet metal, mainly. And, and some rivets. Some circuitry. And a homing device. All fashioned into a sort of massive bullet. With, with, with some fins on the end. and Yeah, and some military-grade explosives in the tip. <laughs> what? Oh, my God, it's a bomb! No, 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 it's, it's a firework, Anish, just a very big, loud one. Yeah, yeah, come on, Anish, we've got MI5 crawling around the college. Uh, they think we're terrorists. Oh, my God, we could go to prison, Kenneth. Yeah, you'll be all right, Colin, pretty boy like you, but I'm not going back. <laughs> what are you thinking? Well, we, we just thought we'd hide it in your kitchen. I mean, no one's going to look there. Gentlemen, you want to store a missile in my kitchen? Yes. Yes. Have you at any stage over the last ten years watched the news? <laughs> oh, oh that is a good point, yeah, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Donna, 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 Donna. Dr. J, Dr. FP. Donna, you've got to help us find a hiding place for Gavin. Sir, you can't just wheel a bomb round the college. It's not a bomb, Donna. It's a massive firework. I, I thought you'd hidden it in the willows. Yeah, we did, but Colin gave the game away. I'm sorry, Kenneth. I panicked. There's a man from MI5, Donna. He's gone undercover. Do you mean that old bloke over there who's dressed himself up like Russell Brand? Yeah, oh. <laughs> Oh, crap it, Colin. That's him, and he's coming this way. Right, think of a plan. That, well, uh, right, we'll say we found the bomb here and blame it on Donna. Oh, thanks a lot. Oh, you've got your whole life ahead of you. You'll be out in 15 years. Oh. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, I have a better idea, one that will help you get your own back on Mr Woods as well. Quickly, get in that cupboard with the rocket. It's Gavin Esler. Oh, whatever. Right. Leave the rest to me. Get in there. Get in, in. <laughs> hey there, dude. <laughs> Hello. Um, I've not seen you round before. I'm, I'm Donna Perkins. Oh, yeah? Blood. Call me Roger. Rog, <laughs> the row man. I'm a new student, so you're just chilling to the max at Forrester's. Rad. Right. Uh, w- what are you studying? Ah, well, that's it. Haven't really decided yet. What's your flavour of education? Science. Hmm. Bo. I imagine those science cats are pretty radical. Politically, I mean, because I'm into all that stuff. And shit. Uh, no, no, they're really square. Um, if you're looking for radical, you should check the drama department. Mr. Woods is pretty rad. In fact, I think their anti-establishment bonfire night play is really quite explosive. Is it? That's very interesting for me. I mean, <laughs> that's mega and fat with a PH. Oh, they're, they're still auditioning for parts, if you're interested. Hmm, I think I'll scope that then. I'll check you later, bro. Bro? Hmm. I'm off to spark up a bong of speed and listen to Fizzy Roskell and my jive pod. Word. It's okay, sirs. You can come out now. Coast is clear. Oh, 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 it's oh, tiny in there. No yeah. air at all. I don't think that not brown ale helped. No apologies for that. <laughs> Relief then, is it, sir? To be out of the closet? Yeah, what? Nothing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemanos, mesdames et messieurs, welcome to Forrester's College Bonfire, the teatro satirical presentation, Up Goes Gordon! 
will commence in trois minutes. Please make your way to the area de stage. Kenneth, I'm surprised to see you here. Well, it's always good to support another staff member in their endeavours. I'm glad you're not bitter about the fireworks. Is Colin coming? Yeah, he's on his way. Said he had to change it. Isn't that the spy bloke? Mr Whitaker, is that you? Shh, don't blow my cover. Oh, that's quite a disguise you have on. This? Oh, no, 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 this is my costume. Are you in the play? Yes, I received a tip-off from the drama lot that they might be lefties, so I managed to infiltrate them. Mum's the word. Evening, miss, sir. Hello, Donna. All set, Dr FP. Ah, yes, the Gavin is primed and ready. What was that, Kenneth? Uh, Gavin, his uh, toilet is primed and ready for a top coat. Ah. Right. I say, blowing up Mysterio. Everybody got to hear me, though. I'm just going on my tippy. Well, hello, Alison. Hello to you there, doll. Oh, dear. Colin, you look very different. Are you in the play, too? No, just what I'd dress up a bit for the evening. I've pimped myself. <clears throat> and uh, the Millennium Falcon as well. Got her a new bell. Millennium Falcon? Yeah, that's what I call my bike. And is that fancy dress? I didn't know it was fancy dress. No, no, it's my new suit. Well, it's not quite new. Yeah, I'll say. Yeah, I, I was in a bit of a rush, Donna. I found the trousers in the loft. They're an old pair of Parbles bell bottoms. Yeah, they're not quite the same yellow as the jacket. Which uh, is red. Yes, yeah, I uh, got it from a charity shop. It was a bit too big, so I padded myself out with a Shetland jumper. Whatever, whatever have you done to your tie? Yeah, I am. Um, had to wear it on the outside of the jumper, you see, because it's, it's not a V-neck, so I, I didn't want to spill anything on it, because it's my special airwolf tie, so, um, yes, yeah, so I've laminated it. <laughs> so, do you like the new me? I don't know what to say, Colin. I actually don't know what to say. Ladies and gentlemen, our play begins! Welcome. Welcome to the Dark Ages. A time when the government is riddled with corruption, the good folk of England are taxed to the hilt, and the rich landowners wallow in wealth whilst the poor lie ill in the streets. Welcome to 2008. Oh, girl. I don't think I can take another minute of this cat. No, me neither. Shall I uh, spark up Gavin now? Why not? And so, noble Gary Fawkes, underpaid social worker and staunch advocate of human rights, Beatboxes down the Thames towards the Houses of Parliament. Nay, the House of Horror. What's that? What is that? Oh, it's taking off. Yes. There, go, yes. Go, Gavin! Oh, 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 no, 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 that's not it. No, the play's over here. Over here! Where's it going to land? It'll make a bit of a mess wherever it is. We didn't really think this part through. Well, I had a bit of an idea. We'll see just how effective the homing device oh, no. is. Oh, my car! <laughs> my beautiful car! Oh, dear. What a shame. Oh, my God, that's awful. Whitaker must have alerted the police, look. Oh, this is brilliant, Kenneth. This is almost as good as when BRF turned on. Well, it's better. They've got guns. Look at that. They're going for wood, Scott. I've got to see this. Me too. I guess that's the end of the play. Ask her, Dr. J. Ask her. Oh, right, yes. <clears throat> Uh, Alison, um, as I don't suppose you'll be going up the reservoir now to do the uh, reservoir things, thank you. I was wondering if you might like to perhaps come out to dinner with me. Yes, please, thank you. That would be lovely, Colin. Right, yes, well, I'm sorry for asking, you know, it was silly of me to ask you, but you said yes. Yes. Skill on the floss. <laughs> would you like a backy? Come on, hop on the falcon. <laughs> You like some starters? I got the spring roll with chili sauce on offer tonight. Spring rolls? Yeah, I'm doing sort of indoor Chinese fusion thing for bonfire night. Oh, right. <laughs> well, I think I might dive into the mains, Anish. Uh, sweet and sour chicken tikka masala in black bean sauce with egg fried rice, please. <laughs> that sounds lovely. Uh, I'll have the same, but without the chicken or the rice or the sauce. Water's fine, thanks, Anish. <laughs> It's very good of you to dine with me, Alison. I could hardly go out for a spin in Danny's car. Now it's been transformed into modern art. Yeah. Uh, Alison, um, as you know, I've uh, dressed up this evening and um, I've been meaning to ask you, that is, if you would go... Gentlemen, uh, ladies, your food. Yes, uh, thanks, Anish. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, Alison, uh, you and I have known each other for so many months now and um, you are a lady. Let and... me put it on the spinning tables for you. <laughs> yeah. 
Thank you, Anish. Uh, thank you. Alison, will you please Just go spin out? Just spin it round with... for no, you. No, no, please. No, oh, Anish, oh, no. Oh. No. Oh, no, watch out. Oh, no, it's gone all over you. I'm sorry. Uh, ah. Alison, I don't know. Oh. Oh, Dr. Harpoon, I am so sorry. I can tell you right now that will never wash out. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, oh, God, it's no, everywhere. No, no. I'm going to have to leave. I'm no, sorry. No, 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 please, Alison, no, Alison, I... Please, I wanted to ask if you... If you would go out with me. Oh, knockers, knockers, knockers. Yeah, <laughs> oh. hello, Colin. Oh, Kenneth, hello. Yeah, that, that Hatton woman looks a bit of a mess. Uh, well, the curry spun all around over the table and over Alison and she had to leave and I... Oh, I, well, I'm all right. Look, I've got chicken on Airwolf's rotors but it'll just wipe off, you see. <laughs> oh, it's awful. It's terrible. Well, you know, well, not to worry. Really? Uh, th- these things happen, Colin. So you don't think it's a lost cause, then? Every cloud, Colin. I mean, it depends how you look at it. Oh, well, it's very understanding of you, Kenneth. I'm sure there's a way around it. Uh, well, how do you think I could remedy the situation? Mm. Well, let's see. Well... Most of the curry has gone down the crack in the seat, but you could probably get that out with some spoons. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> Double Science was written by Justin Edwards and Ben Wilborn. It starred Margaret Cabon Smith, Raza Jeffrey, Rebecca Frank, Alex McQueen, Justin Edwards, and Ben Wilborn. The producer was Adam Bromley. At last. Oh, I thought the day would never end. Oh, God, you oh. think you had it bad, Colin? I had double physics with the first year. Oh, it's like a marathon. Oh, God, I'd probably need to use oxygen if I had to teach that lot. Well, I, <laughs> I did use oxygen, a whole what? canister. I uh, mixed it with a bit of nitrous oxide. I still can't feel my feet. Oh. <laughs> well, look, I mean, you take the phone, Kenneth. I'll go on the camp bed. Oh, whoa. <laughs> yeah, that flashes on a hair trigger. Ah. Nearly the end of term. No more students. It's all downhill from here. Uh, final approach. <laughs> I can see the one way, Captain. Uh, yeah, yeah. Flaps down, Commander. Uh, check. Undercarriage. Uh, uh, check. Ooh, bottle of Tetzel's Thunder. Oh. Bill at six o'clock, Captain. Uh. Oh. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. oh, that's nice. All I ask is for a hassle-free last week. Huh? Well, I, might, well, I just hide in here. Yeah, don't worry, Kenneth. I mean, we can bring games in now at the end of term. Mm. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I could bring in my old Monopoly set. Excellent. <laughs> Double Science by Justin Edwards and Ben Wilborn. Ah, oh, Alison. Hello to you there. Hello, Colin. Uh, What's in the box? Ah, it's a surprise. Oh, I love surprises. Give me a clue. Right, um, you are a dog. What? Uh, no, no, sorry, I, sorry, I didn't mean, um, right, um, you are a boot. Colin? Uh, no, uh, no, sorry, right, um, uh, Mayfair. Colin, have you got a pornographic magazine in there? Uh, what? No, no, uh, gosh, no, quacky, I don't have any of those. I, I mean, well, there used to be a special tree behind the church and there was a plastic bag there with it. No, 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 uh, Kenneth! Yeah. Yeah, morning all. Kenneth, I like the nice weather as much as the next person, but I don't think it's appropriate to wander about in just your pants. Yeah, yeah, sorry about that. My trousers are drying off. I had an accident with uh, some soup and a dog. Yeah. <laughs> so, end of term. Oh, get in it. We have to complete our staff assessment forms. Now, I tried to look up last year's forms that you did with Dr Oates, but they were all stuck together. Look. Oh. Yes. Oh, that's all a bit embarrassing, actually, Alison. Yeah. 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 We were having our traditional end-of-term party, you see. Let yeah. me guess. You went to the Taj for a curry? How did you know? <laughs> Female intuition, Colin. Right, right. You know, I've often wondered what that is, Alison. It's a bit like spidey sense. Right. Got you, yes. <laughs> so how is having your staff party at the Taj different from any other weekday night? Oh, it's skillion, Alison. I wear a musical tie. It's something of a tradition. Yeah, mm. we, we really go for it. I commit Harry Curry. <laughs> Harry Curry? Yeah, Kenneth tries to eat all the curries on the menu. If he succeeds, we get our starters for half price. <laughs> How does a human body cope with that much curry? Well, I mean, by and large, it doesn't. What actually happens... No, 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 I don't want to know. So what happened to these assessments? Well, you see, I'd got old sailor's junk all over my hands. Please tell me that's a beer. Please tell me it's a beer. 
No. Oh, God. It's more of a pale ale, really. I mean, it's quite... <laughs> quite strong. Oh, yeah. brewed in Devon. Very yeah. well. Good. Carry on. Yeah, well, anyway, it got mixed in with some lime pickle, and then we knocked that onto the assessment papers. Yeah, so... the, the two on their own are quite harmless, but uh, yeah. when mixed together, they form incredible adhesive. Yes. So, I actually used some of it to tile my parents' bathroom, so... So how yeah. did you assess each other? Well, mm. yeah, old Dr Oates just used to tick all the boxes and sign it at the bottom. I mean, yeah. you, you, you could do that. You, oh, ch- ch- please, just do that. Come on, it's the end of term. No one wants to waste their time with this hippie nonsense. No, Kenneth, we'll be doing a 360-degree assessment. Right. Alison, has that got anything to do with drawing circles? Because I heard that if you can draw a perfect circle with a pencil, then you're mad. And so I've never tried, because I don't want to know if I'm mad. No, Colin. <laughs> it means we do each other. I do you, Colin. <laughs> then you do me. Oh. I do Kenneth. Kenneth does you. Uh. Oh. <laughs> I mean, assess. You know what I mean. <laughs> And it's not just ticking boxes. I've decided we should all write reports examining what we consider our strengths and weaknesses to be. Well, we could settle that with an arm wrestle. Uh, I mean, Kenneth's unbeatable. Once he was wrestling with a French assistant. And yeah, all right, not got... now, Colin. Not, not... Right. To work. Yeah, okay. Trousers, Kenneth. Yeah, yeah. Give, it, give, it, give us a hand in, will you, Colin? Oh, right, yes. there we go. Oh, yep. mind that. Oh, it... oh, pop that there. Oh, right. right. Oh. Uh, good Prime Minister is back at number ten. Hassan. Sir. Sir. What? 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 Sir, what? You were saying. Uh, saying what, Donna? What are you doing in my bedroom? It's a classroom, sir. You fell asleep standing up. Oh, oh crap. Um. <laughs> Oxidation? Uh, uh, Yes, oxidation is the process of electron loss and reduction is the process of electron gain. Oh, look, I've run out of time. Oh, dear, off you go. Go on, leave. Sir? Yes, Donna? Have you marked our homework from last week yet, sir? Well, that's a delicate process, marking. You know, I can't rush it. Oh, come on, sir. We've got mock exams when we get back next term. Have you? Yes! (laughs) Mr. Woods has been doing special revision shows on the college radio. Maybe you should do some, sir. College radio? God, you'll get it easy. They'll be giving out guns next. What what is it? The college has a one-week trial of a localised FM transmitter. Well, first I've heard of it. Well, did Dr Hatton not say anything? Well, I tend to zone out when she talks at white noise. Emails? No, set my computer to mark everything as spam. Saves time. (laughs) Now, talking of compacted processed meat, I've got a packed lunch to eat. Oh, my God, you can't eat that. You'll die. Oh, I'm in training for Harry Curry. Stand back. (laughs) (laughs) Ali! Ali, boo-boo! Boo-boo! Hey, hey, Alison! Danny, hi, how are you? Oh, you know, keeping myself low to the street where the Actione Eon is. Well, I've certainly been enjoying your radio revision plays. Your Oliver Twist was very good. It's amazing how doing them has got my juices flowing again. It's just the thing, baby. Every time I think I'm out, it pulls me back in. Oh, who's that? Top cat or Yogi Bear? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Anyway, um, once you've been bitten by the bug, well, uh, hey, uh, hey, you know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm putting on an adaptation of Wuthering Heights tomorrow, and um, I needs me a Kathy. I'm sorry, Danny. I don't understand some of the things you say when you do the voices. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. What, what I mean is, uh, j'ai besoin an actress. Would you play Kathy for me? Kenneth! Colin, glad I caught you. Assessment! Oh, knockers! Oh, God, hide. It's no use trying to hide, Kenneth. Besides, you won't fit in the cupboard. Have you done them yet? Yes. Really? Yeah, all done. May I see them? Well, they're, well they're, you know, they're look, not with us here. They're, they've been so, posted. Uh, yeah, yeah, to you, posted uh, personally. Se- second class, it yeah. will take a few days. Well, well, you do know the postal service well, these exactly, days. I mean, it's yeah, gone I mean, crazy, isn't it? it? You know, with so a consignor. Co- well, con- 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 Shut con- they co- up, you haven't done them yet, have you? No. no. I just want you to do this one thing so that we can behave like a proper department. No, oh, can't you just tick all the boxes and sign them at the bottom? No. Yes, and I've got a sneak preview of this year's tie. Aha, uh-huh. let's have a look. Yes, yes. Well, uh, it's a Battle of Britain one I ordered from the mail on Sunday. Listen, it plays the Dambusters. 
Uh. Mm -hmm. uh. Once I press it, it, it can't stop. Uh. <laughs> that, that is brilliant. If I tie it right, I can get the Lancaster bomber on, but not. Uh. Oh, that's I am disabled and I am currently using these facilities. Please find no, a doctor. We'll be here for ages. Sorry, don't, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Donna. Oh, right. <coughs> All right, sirs. Nice tie, Doctor Jackson. Yes, Lancaster bomber. I think it might suitably impress a certain Doctor Hatton. Yeah, women go for warplanes. Now. I really think you should listen to a bit of Mr. Woods' radio drama. Yeah, oh, God, I'd rather put wasps in my ears. Oh, Heathcliff, you are so brooding and handsome. Tis the moors that made me so, Cathy. I brood for thee. Oh, Heathcliff, come home. It's so cold without you. Oh, Cathy. Oh, 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 the torment. <laughs> Hold me, Cathy. Feel this buff torso in your arms. Heathcliff, I love you. Kiss me, my Cathy. Oh, my God. He's seducing Wait, her. Wait, it's just a play, Colin. Oh, it's an excuse to do kissing. On the lips, I'll bet. Oh. It's pornographic, Kenneth. Well, I've seen harder. So, we must do something. Well, maybe you could do a play of your own, Dr. Jackson. Yes, yes, that's right. Beat him in his own medicine. Oh. Yeah. I could get you a slot, sort it out. Maybe you could write in a kissing scene. K kissing? Yes, well, gosh, kissing, well, yes, kissing. I like that, yes. I'll get right on it, thank you. So, uh, why are you so keen on this radio business, Donna? What, uh, what do you get out of all this? Oh, all right, I'm using the station after hours to run trance all-nighters. I've got tons of sponsors interested, so if the college gets the go-ahead to do this next term, I'll make a mint. Well, does the other science department doing a silly play will help you? Well, if I can guarantee the involvement of every department, we'll definitely get in next term. Come on, you read the memos. Oh, no, actually, you don't, do you? Never. No. <laughs> Heathcliff, it's me, it's Cathy, I've come home. Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh. Alison, hello there, yes, please. Colin, you're in nice and early. Yes, well, I've been up all night, Alison, because I've been really busy with something, and I want to show it to you, and I think that you're going to be very pleased with it, and here it is, and I want to show it to you. Colin, so calm here, down, oh, Colin. Sorry, Alison, I've been drinking coffee to keep me awake, and I don't normally drink coffee. <laughs> what is it you want to show me, Colin? Yes. Have you written your assessments? No, no, not that, no. I thought that, well, you know, the science department could get involved with college radio, and I've written a play. Mm. That sounds fantastic. Ah, uh, yes, well, I thought that it would be a good revision aid for the students, you know, and well, here it is. Ah. Gosh, <laughs> you have been busy. Yes, I got a bit stuck at first and uh, I, a little bit bored, so I turned on the telly and, and uh, well, it gave me all the inspiration I needed. Ah. Right, did you watch Doctor Who by any chance? Yes, well, I watched all of season two on the DVD. <laughs> Is that why your play is called Dr. Jackson Who, No Relation, The Time-Travelling Science Lord? Yeah, well, that's right. Uh, I'm Dr. Jackson Who, and I travel through time, visiting moments in the history of science in a massive test tube-shaped spaceship with my really rather beautiful assistant, Alice. Ah, and is Kenneth playing that part? What? Well, no, no, I thought, well, maybe if you wanted it to do that, wanted to do, would you be that, you could do that? Oh, I'd love to, Colin. Oh. Oh, gosh. Well, that's brilliant. What about Kenneth? Well, he, you know, he can play all the other parts and do the sound effects. That looks great. This is just the kind of thing we should be doing to help the students at this time of year. I'm oh. really very impressed, Colin. Yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> oh. oh, the coffee is wearing off a bit. Well, now that you've got the writing bug, perhaps you could get those assessments written up. <sighs> Colin? <laughs> oh, gosh, is oh. that time already? What's your first class today, Colin? Colin? Oh, Dr. Jackson, who? <laughs> oh, get in the test tube, Alison. <laughs> Usuals for you, La Madras, Peshwari Naan, Poppadoms, all the gubbins. Yeah, I am Isaac Newton. Better early for you to be pissed up, eh, Dr. Kenneth? No, no. <laughs> No, Anisha, I'm, I'm trying to get my head around these lines. You know, Colin's written this play, but I just, I just can't do it. I hate performing. I don't blame you, Dr. Kenneth. Theatre is full of the woofters. <laughs> I, 
I did, uh, I did an Akebourne with the Amdram a lot years ago. You know, wife talked me into it. Of course, she was getting a portion off the gardener whilst I was rehearsing. But, you know, it's that nightmare, isn't it? Suddenly being naked on stage and not knowing your lines. I have had that dream. Horribus. No, I'm not talking about a dream. And his show, everything went misty. And then there I was in the buff on stage. I mean, I must have just stripped off in a trance. And <laughs> never really lived it down. Still, should be easier on the radio. Oh, radio, is it? Yeah, some campus thing. Oh, well, uh... Maybe you could do a few advert for my restaurant. Could do with a bit more custom. Well, it's not really a commercial station. No, oh, sure it isn't, but uh, if you mention the place, I'll see you right. Three bhajis, mango, chutney on your house, that sort of things. Oh, well, <laughs> well, I could always slip a mention in, you know, subliminally, if I, if I get over the fear. Oh, no, take yourself a little flask of the old booze, eh? Couple of slugs of electric soup, take the edge right off the nerves. Well, uh, maybe. Yeah, worked for my driving test. <laughs> well, 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 if it isn't the Chuckle Brothers. Yeah, Woods. Oh, wh what do you want, Woods? Oh, I just popped by to see if Ali Boo is in the house. Her name is Alison, and this is the science lab, Woods, not a house. Uh, if it was a house, there would be a kitchen, and some bedrooms, and a bathroom, and a train set room, a study, I mean, and a garden at the back, but I can't see any of that, so you lose. <laughs> Hang on, Monopoly? Is that what they let you play at the day centre? Yeah, oh, oh, ha, ha. Yeah, ha, ha, Woods. It's actually a very intelligent game. <laughs> oh, whatever. Tell Alice and I pop by, will you? Just wanted to drop off these chocks. A little uh, thank you for her part in my play. Yeah, well, we're, we're doing our own play on Friday, Woods. It was? Yeah, I wrote it and it's all about science and Alison is going to be in it and everything. You've written a play? Yes, yes, he has, Woods, and it's better than anything you could write. Oh, yeah, really? Well, I tell you what, I'm willing to bet that your play is an abject failure. Right, right, you're on. <laughs> How much? Uh, a thousand pounds! Look, I've got, I've got, I've got two five hundred pound notes here. No, no, that's Monopoly money. Right, right, sorry. <laughs> Come on, let's make it interesting. Fifty smackers. Oh, oh, crikey, that's twenty-five pounds each, Kenneth. It's quite a lot. Well, it's just Colin. Oh, 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 right, 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 right. What's the matter, Jacko? You scared I'll have the last laugh? <laughs> Fine. Fine. We'll see who's laughing at whom on Friday, Woods. But I'm pretty confident that if anyone will be having the last laugh, then it will be me laughing behind my hand at you, and certainly not with you, Woods. Because if there's any laughing to be done, then I, well, will be doing it, and you will be laughing at your shadows. Yeah, right, he's then. gone, Colin. <laughs> oh, right. You're listening to Forrester's FM with DJ Donna P. Coming up later on, much later on for those in the know, is the special music hour. But now it's time for our afternoon revision aid play. Today, the staff of the science department present Dr. Colin Jackson, who, no relation, and his time-travelling test tube, The Adventure of Science. Do the music now, yes. Hello there, students. My name is Dr. Colin Jackson Who. Now then, who could this be here? Why, it's me, Alice Hutton, your trustworthy and beautiful assistant. Gosh. What's that contraption there, Dr. Jackson Who? That, my beautiful assistant, is my time-travelling test tube. It looks like a big test tube, and in many ways it is, but it's bigger on the inside than on the outside, like the TARDIS, but it's not the TARDIS. Um, <laughs> here, have a look inside. <clears throat> uh, Kenneth, do the door noise. Oh, right, yeah, sorry. Uh, oh, God, so, uh... <clears throat> oh, you're right, it's huge. Well, let's get in, and you can take me through time, Dr. Jackson Who. Where are we going first? Well, that's the beauty of the time-travelling test tube, my beautiful assistant. You never know. But before we go, would you like to kiss me good luck? <laughs> oh, but of course, Dr. Jackson Who. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Colin. <laughs> Kenneth, do the noise. Yeah, right, hang on. <clears throat> right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look, here we are. But who could this be? Why, it looks like Sir Isaac Newton. Oh, I got the fright. All <laughs> uh, right, yeah, hello to you two. Uh, Sir Isaac Newton, I presume. Uh, uh, correct. I've just got back from the taste of the Taj Indian restaurant, where I've had <laughs> an all-you-can-eat lunch buffet for just six pounds. What? Kenneth. <laughs> right, um... 
so I'm just going to sit in the garden to uh, sit under an apple tree. Would you care to join me? That would be wonderful. Can we, Dr. Jackson, who? No, but of course, my beautiful assistant, Alice Hutton. You look wonderful today, may I add. Thank you. You're looking pretty hot yourself there. <laughs> I quite fancy you. Uh, oh, well, well uh, let us go to the garden with Isaac Newton. Oh, sorry, that, my tie. I, once I've done it, I can't turn it off. So, right, just have to wait for the end there. So, right, go, go, right. Right, right. <clears throat> so, so, Isaac, watch out for this apple. Yeah. Ah, oh, oh, crap! Don't you... uh, Isaac Newton was hit by an apple, as we know, but it could also have been an onion bhaji. <laughs> cooked in the traditional way at the taste of the Taj Indian restaurant. Kenneth! Yeah, that's right, okay. Sorry. Mm. Thus, he discovered gravity, um, as one of the fundamental forces of physics. W wow! Quick, to the time travelling test tube! Oh, <laughs> What? Yes, right. God, the frights. Well, no. well, now, whom have we here? Why, it's Albert Einstein, is it not? Uh, yes, it is. <laughs> what do you want? Apart from a chicken tikka meal deal from the taste of the Taj, <laughs> open seven days a week, lunch times and evenings, group bookings welcome. Uh, Kenneth, do the yeah, accent. Right, uh, yeah. what, what, what do you want? <laughs> I'm busy. Hello. I'm Alice Hutton, beautiful assistant to Dr. Jackson Who. Are you working on the theory of relativity? Yeah, you know that one from Torchwood, Captain Jack? Why isn't he here? Kenneth, uh, don't go off uh, the script. Uh, I'm a bit worried about him, Colin. He's sweating quite a lot. Uh, you'll be fine, Alison. <laughs> Kenneth, please, do the lines. You know, uh, e equals mook squared, yes. <laughs> I'm just a woman, but a very pretty one. What does that mean? In uh, physics, mass energy equivalence is the concept. Oh, man, man, this is the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. What a car crash. Actually, sir, I think it's pretty good. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's the best thing I've heard all week. I think I'll make it into a podcast. It's hilarious. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that is why all the angles of the triangles are the same. The, oh, the fear. Uh, 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 and so let us kiss and bid goodbye to you, Ernest Rutherford. Yeah, go on then. Uh, no, Kenneth, not you. Right. I, I meant Alison. I mean my beautiful assistant, Alice. I will kiss her now. No, you won't, Colin. Uh, well, so, sorry. D right. Good luck with splitting the atom. All aboard for test tube. Uh, Kenneth... D do the noise. Where's well, it gone? I, I, well, I'll do it. Right. Uh, oh, no, wrong one. Goodness. Wherever are we going next, Dr. Jackson? Who? Uh, ancient Greece. Sorry, it's, yeah. I put my tie. What do I do? I can't turn it off. You just have to wait to it. Right. Just wait. Right, go. You're finished. Right. right. Greece. Skill. I hope we can catch up with Archimedes, who is in his bath. Yes, my beautiful assistant. Shall we kiss? No, get off. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, Eureka! Uh, Eureka! Kenneth, yeah. you're naked. No, no, still got my socks on. Now, a uh, free bottle of house wine with all orders over 30 pounds. Oh, God, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going. <laughs> Well, well, well. Good morning, Jacko and Pitterbread. Great show yesterday. <laughs> oh, clear off, Woods. Yeah, well, I've come to collect my winnings from our little bet. Yeah, fine. Have it. Thank you. You know, Alison has been in with the principal for quite some time. Looks like you two are for the high jump. TTFN, losers! Oh, donger! Oh, Kenneth. You really should have told me that you got stage fright. Well, I didn't know it was going to happen. Then well, you really shouldn't have been drinking, Kenneth. I mean, it was my special play, and you really muffed it up. Well, sorry, Colin. Uh, Alison, uh, hello there. Hello to you there. Hmm. Colin, Kenneth, I am speechless. Uh, uh, what did the principal say? Are we in trouble? Kenneth is very sorry. I mean, we there's won't do it. There's good news, and there's bad news. Oh, knockers. The bad news is... Oh, we're fired, aren't we? I'll get a bin liner and put my stuff in it. Oh, who am I kidding? I haven't got any stuff. Just put me in a bin liner. Throw me out with the rest of the rubbish. No, Kenneth. Huh? The bad news is you have to apologise to the modern languages department in writing this time. Oh, okay. is that where I went after the play? I'm... <laughs> I've completely forgotten. Well, the French assistant won't be forgetting. Certainly... <laughs> Not without therapy. Yeah, not my finest hour. Uh, what's the good news, Alison? The good news is 
You are going to have to put your writing shorts on, Colin, because the principal is delighted. The FM license has been extended, and he wants us to continue the great PR for the science department. His words. But... <laughs> I, I, I don't understand. It's been the most popular show in college by far. People are downloading it from the internet. 80,000 hits, Donna tells me. Oh, Beverly Skills 90210. <laughs> it's made science popular again. We've had more inquiries for next year oh, already. God, not more students. Oh, great, great news. So, I propose that this evening we celebrate. Oh. I never thought I'd say this, but... I would very much like to buy you both a curry. Oh, get it. Uh, you know, I, I can see it all now. Dr. Indiana Jackson-Jones and the Temple of Science. Uh, you can play the woman, Alison, and Kenneth can be all the Nazis. <laughs> Colin and Kenneth and Dr. Hinton. Spice to see you. To see you, you, Spice. <laughs> oh, oh, crumbs, Anish. It's packed in here. Oh, I know. Full of students. I think your adverts must have worked, Dr. Kenneth. Yes. We are so busy that I don't think you were going to be able to commit the Harry Curry quite tonight, Dr. Kenneth. No, I, but I'm match fit. Uh, I don't think a chap should commit Harry Curry in front of a woman, uh, Kenneth. It's yeah. very considerate of you, Colin. Yeah, well, well, yes. Hang on. Who's about Donna? Hi, sir, Smith. I came to celebrate your success, Dr. Jackson. You've become quite an online celebrity. I've even started making T-shirts. I take it you're happy about the FM licence, then? Oh, I'm delighted, sir. It'll certainly pay me through university. Ah, oh, Alison. Ali Boo Bear. There you are. Been looking for you all over. Caxon, Farty Pittman. I guess this must be your leaving due. Didn't you hear, Danny? Our show was so popular, they've extended the FM licence. We're celebrating. Oh, right. Right, well, did the principal mention my monologues? Ah, uh, no. Fine, no, that's cool. Congrats, yeah. Yeah, I think we might take our money back as we won the bet. Yes. Well, Woods, I think, as the Americans say, you've just been owned. Got owned. We own you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fine, fine, here. Right, well, uh, Alibu. <laughs> Thought me and you might uh, go out to the Italian down the road, yeah? Have a few drinky poos. No, Danny. Do you know what? I think I'm going to stay here with my staff tonight. It's our end of term bash, so I'd quite like to, um, what is it you say, Kenneth? Have a night on the slop. Yes, that's it. Yes, I think I might have a night on the slop. So, see you next term, Danny. <laughs> what? Oh, right, yeah, well, um, well, see you, yeah? <laughs> I've got my eye on you two. Both eyes. Bye-bye, uh, 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 Woods. Uh, tit. <laughs> That man really is a massive donger. <laughs> right, who wants the popper dump? Oh, oh, what a splendid end to the term. Oh, gosh, the assessments. I've completely forgotten about them. Oh, oh, well, you know. We'll have to do them now. Uh, I mean, we, we could do them now. Or, or, we, um, or we could just, yeah, 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 just, just, just tick all the boxes and then sign it at the bottom. Yeah. yeah. Welcome to our world. <laughs> Bonsoir, you're listening to uh, Danny Wood's Problem Hour here on Forrester's FM. You got a problem, you want to get it off your chest, or uh, if you've got any questions, then just call in and uh, Danny will see what he can do. I have a caller on line one. Hello, line one. Don't be scared, you can talk to Danny. <laughs> by Justin Edwards and Ben Wilborn. It stars Margaret K. Bond smith Raza Jaffrey, Rebecca Front, Justin Edwards and Ben Wilborn. The producer was Adam Bromley.